Take me to the channel for the PCP. Listen to some voicemails for the Minecraft stream. I really want to have Radcon funded by you. We can be procrastinators. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Bencast. That's right. It's a procrastinators podcast special event. Uh, another Bencast, an unexpected Bencast. Uh, 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 Gib was around. Gib was around today, and I just assumed she'd show up, but no. No, it's it's the time has come. It's almost 25 minutes past the, the, the starting point, and, you know, I, I, uh, I'm all alone. I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess that, I guess that liver poison I've been feeding her has been working. <laughs> I finally got the dose right, and now it's all mine. I have the floor to myself. I can I can platform my far right my alt right ideas. It's finally time. Uh, yes, it is. It is uh, episode two ninety whatever two eighty seven whatever, and uh, it's uh, it's another fucking celebration of me and all things me. Uh, okay, so I don't want to talk. Well, there are some things that I I don't want to go too into depth in because I actually am I owe my patrons a podcast which I'm probably going to record tomorrow a, a a sort of update about me and what I've been doing and especially the game project for that. So I could talk a bunch about that, but I'm I'm going to hold off here. Um I will I will vaguely say that what's been going on with me is that I've been working on that I after the after the demo came out, I worked really hard and really diligently for a bit right before the demo, and I got it done. And then I was a little burnt out afterwards. And since then, I have been doing. I have sort of been focusing on easy shit, like like sp sprites and assets and stuff, rather than digging into like the kind of nitty gritty of like the the programming side of it to implement the stuff that I wanted to implement that wasn't there. So I've been making progress, but I, I still feel bad. <laughs> I've been making very, um, I don't know. I, I, you guys, I guess I could say superficial. It's not really superficial progress because it is all stuff like new, new sprites, new animations. Like I did want, it was all stuff that I did intend for the final game to have. So it's necessary work, but the the game itself is pretty much in the same state it was when the demo came out. It just it looks nicer. It has it has some stuff. Uh, anyway, that's that's what I've been up to with that. But um, if you want to hear more about that or ask me questions about that, you can go to patreon.com dot com slash Ben Saint, the famous, world renowned. <laughs> um, what else? Um, somebody. It was you know what? Let me let me credit them. In the in the Radcon Four Paradise, uh, D Discord server, it was K Five Josh. Thank you, K Five Josh, for for linking this four chan thread in response to Nate releasing his new uh, Kingdom Hearts Three review. Um, they they there is Nate discussion, and then there is a lot of general PCP discussion, and you know it's a lot of it's a lot of the same it's a lot of the same shit you see on Kiwi farms. It's a lot of the same. A lot of, a lot of the T word, a lot of that old transphobia. Uh, but uh, there's there's some funny stuff. There's, I have one or two, a lot of a lot of stuff. But Ben is annoying. Ben's too political. Ben's a fucking communist. Uh, I have one or two defenders in there, and not just like dick suckers either. There's there's one guy in here, who I really appreciate because he doesn't just say that like. He doesn't say that I'm I'm great or anything. He criticizes me in certain ways, but ways that I agree with. And then he also he gives me credit for things that nobody's. Let me let me read this one. This one made me really happy. <clears throat> uh, uh, ben Saint. Ah, yes, the arch nemesis of Fort. Also, I, I have a feeling that whoever wrote this listens to the podcast. So if you're hearing this, uh, thanks. Uh, and I'm sorry. I'm I'm embarrassed to think about you hearing me read your fortune. I'm embarrassed for myself and for you, and I and I hope that it brings us closer. <laughs> Hopefully, we feel the same way about it. Um, ah, yes, the arch nemesis of four channers like us, huh? Lamau. Ben politics brought the show down, but he made some good points here and there. 
uh, uh, editorializing by me. I do think that there were times when I was too aggressive about it and, and brought it up when other people, I do think there were times like that. I'm not, I'm not free of, I'm not free of, of blame of criticism in that area. Not as often as some people said I did, but sometimes I did <clears throat> anyway, much less political now. People don't give him enough credit for being one of the only members to want things to be completely transparent. He was the first to say he didn't feel that Mumkey needed to be kicked out. He called out shit on everyone, Jess feeling attacked, Mumkey not really contributing anything meaningful to any PCP episode he was on, Digi wanting to steer the show in directions no one wanted, and the stupid idea of then forming a sort of RLM collective. He is keeping the PCP alive. Had a falling out with Digi because... Uh... the Eh... I prefer to call her Trixie. I don't, I'm, I don't like, I'm not offended by someone calling them Digi because Digi's a screen name, but this person said Digi's. I'll, I'll read what they said. That's whatever. Sorry. Um, does he, is he doesn't respect his friends and thinks they're all fucking idiots. Uh, she, dude. Uh, got mad when a friend of Digi's opted to either make a new Radcon or refilm the Pony lecture. Digi's Radcon lecture, he doesn't want to make public as this was before. Oh, God. Oh, no, a slur. Skipping it. Some of the other people... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I, 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 I take it back. Uh, 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 I don't want to marry you anymore. Uh, you need to work on yourself. <laughs> Nevertheless uh uh thanks for thanks for thanks you for acknowledging the transparent i'm all about transparency people complain about me trixie complained about me talking about things i shouldn't talk about saying stuff that's like ooh, you shouldn't talk about your friends friends that way and it's literally just i don't want to hide shit and lie about shit that's that people have that's a problem people have with me is that i don't do that and you know what good i'm glad <laughs> uh good good for me no apologies um i don't know there's some more here whatever uh it's kind of a funny thread a lot of a lot of bullshit too but some of this stuff is funny uh whatever <laughs> uh, no no need to go any further in you get the idea um so what else what else happened okay i i remembered the other week when we had simsy on and we talked about israel there, there was a something that i forgot to mention but that i in hindsight i was like i wish i mentioned it I, I made some I made some uh, pro Palestine posts on Twitter, and some got a bunch of responses. I got one guy. I had a, I had a couple of people who argued with me, but one guy stuck out. It was is this one guy who was like, "What do you want to free them from?" And I said, "You know, genocide, displacement, uh, whatever." I forget what I exact said, and and this guy was like, "Um, actually, the Jews or." I don't remember if he said the Jews or Israel, Israel, whatever. He said Israel has actually given so much to Palestine. You know, Israel's actually the good guys. And I was like, what do you mean? I've seen the maps. I've seen how the territory and uh, a ter Palestinian territory has shrunk over the years. And this guy's like, no, no, no. Actually, it's like this. And then he goes on like a 20, I'm not even joking, like a 20 post long thread paragraphs and paragraphs about how like oh in in like 1940 whatever uh palestine refused to sign an agreement with israel over such and such and it's like all the stuff from like the 40s 50s 60s and i'm kind of like reading along and just being like uh I, this, i'm not I don't, i'm not really convinced that this is that relevant to what's going on right now yeah historical context whatever the, the guy goes to such lengths that like he eventually starts linking me to wikipedia articles about like i'm not kidding symphony orchestras and football teams that used to be like called the palestinian team or the palestinian symphony orchestra but are now called like the israel versions like they changed their name and were subsumed by israel and this is supposed to be evidence that like actually israel is giving stuff to them because they took their fucking football teams or something. I didn't get it. I didn't get it, but my my that was the point when I I stopped. I was I was actually like following along and responding in good faith. But this was the point that I was like I don't think I don't think this person has any good points to make. I think we're done. When you're like, "No, nah, no, nah, this football team changed its name. That's why." <laughs> That's why fucking we got to bomb the AP headquarters, dude. <laughs> um and I thought that was pretty fucking hilarious. Um, last week, I talked at length about my horrible L 
the horrible L that I took on Twitter, the the first and worst L that I've ever suffered or ever will suffer when I tragically mistimed my tweet about uh, Trixie, give us the fucking footage and just barely missed, just barely missed uh, uh, her actually fucking doing it somehow. Um, only because Riley told her to. <laughs> I just barely missed it and was wrong and fucked up. And then they got to go, ha ha, I already, I already sent it, actually. <laughs> you nerd. Um, Big L. But I got to win. I got to win this time. And I and I won't belabor the point, but I, I have I've redeemed myself with a W, a big fat W. <laughs> the, the long and short of it is that I a little while ago, I found out that some of the videos on the YIG channel are being edited for free by friends of theirs. And these are monetized videos that make the money and promote their stuff. So this is like unambiguously a for profit thing that they are using free labor to have made for them, uh, which I, I don't think is right under any circumstances. Literally, they are, and I know this is an inflammatory way to phrase it, um, but Yig Studios is literally Dr. Wolfing people. They are literally I Love Kim Possible allotting people. Remember that? If, if anyone, if any, how, how many of you listeners were around back in the Brony days? If you were, you might remember I love Kim Possible a lot, and Dr. Wolf did the same shit. They would make money on videos. They would publish videos that they would monetize with ads and, you know, charge money for on their Patreon. And they would get artists and stuff to do it for exposure or just because they knew them and were friends. Oh, we're all just friends here. Oh, no, we're all just we're all just pals, right? Like, I'm not like you're I'm not your boss. Like, we're like family, you know, like family share with each other. Like, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Don't don't get money involved. We don't need we're friends. We're all friends here. Don't worry about it. Says says of course the one who's making the money on it says that, right? Of course. Cl- classic tale as old as time. So anyway, they're doing that. So they put out a video and I respond on the video. I don't name any names, but I say pay your editor. And the editor who I won't name, but I don't like them at all. <laughs> the editor responds with a big screed about like, "Uh, oh, leave me alone. Stop bullying me." Like because I said, pay your editor. So uh, this all happens. Uh, I screenshot it for Twitter. She she whines about it on Twitter. Whatever. Long story short, the Yig pe- the Yig people all get upset. They're all oh Ben's a bully. Oh Ben's so mean. Ben doesn't understand that we're all just friends here. Huh? It's not like for money. It's not. It's all. We're just family. We're like family. We're like friends. We share. Why you get money involved? Huh? What are you communist? You just don't fucking get it. Um, long story short, they said, OK, we'll pay the editor now. <laughs> get fucked. Get fucked, losers. Um, I fucking big W. I gotcha. I gotcha. Assuming they're actually going to assuming they'll they'll actually do what they say and keep their word, which I don't I don't trust them to. But uh, I'm just going to I'll just assume that they're telling the truth. And uh, it's and it's a big fucking win for me. Big fuck. Everything's fucking coming up. Ben saying I got (laughs) him. So if you were concerned about me last episode, you I'm sure you remember how how just how the the L affected me, just how traumatized I was by it. But don't worry. Oh, Ben, are you talking about the L again? I br- no, 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 I'm I'm talking about the W. I'm talking about the W. It's, I br- uh, briefly, br- briefly bringing up the W <laughs> to counteract the L. I talked about the L. I got to give equal time to the to the W. Are you recording, uh, by the way? I am recording. Yes. Hi, <laughs> I'm, Ben. I'm done though. I was. Uh, hey, Gib. I'm done though. I was. I was just about to move on from it. Um. um okay. <laughs> I I swear I pro- how I, how long I was probably on it for maybe less than ten minutes maybe five minutes it's fine it's fine it's good how are you how are you doing uh oh you know I was I was oh. I, I'm sorry I'm late for the the PCP I was uh I was watching the new Mission Across Scotland you know the Geo Guesser boy Geo Wizard did the the you straight have line told mission. me about him. The straight yeah, line mission across Wales. He, he did that and did another one. There's a bunch of different like missions, but this le- uh, latest one across Scotland, 
uh, I've been anticipating mm-hmm. it uh, because uh, it, mm. he's only he's only gotten more adept and better at these things. Is it, is it a series, or is it like yes. a big one, big like movie? Okay, okay. it's it's thirty minutes and it's part one. They they're usually in parts. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Hype. I I just didn't pay attention to Discord in that time. Tisk tisk tisk. Imagine not paying attention to Discord. Imagine not being keyed in the social media. God, I fucking hate. I no no. I would <laughs> never do such a thing. I got I got I got to fucking get off Twitter. I know. You I really talk about, do. I talk I talk about these this W like it's a big, but it's actually a, an L that I'm even fucking involved. I under I know intellectually I understand that. Yes. Emotionally, I just want to fucking. I know. Kill my you've enemies. Gotta, you've, you've got to destroy <laughs> your emotions. You've got to become a complete mm. robot and 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 think of think of the facts and logic. It's dumb and it doesn't make you happy and it doesn't do anything. So stop. It enough. But I but I but I but I but I got the W though. But I no, beat him. I won. You just said no, it was I an won. L. It was a no, secret L. No, it was. No, it wasn't. No, it's not possible. You're not but owned, was, Ben. But but if but if my W's were actually L's, then then what was it all for? What if I? What did I get out of it? Nothing. Oh no! No! <laughs> in fact, me, you got less me than holding, nothing. Holding a W in my hands that starts dissolving, like the like the end of a uh, of uh, what's the Marvel one where they all dissolve? That one, they all just psh, turns to dust. Uh, it's like it's like Tyrion Lannister said, "Your your your W's will turn to ashes in your mouth." Here's Remember the that? only W that matters: is this image. Wait, I gotta see. I gotta I gotta fucking see it's this in shit. General. It's in general. Um, I'm in general. Uh, jump to present. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, man. I know. I, I'm. I I feel like. Is it is it a hipster opinion? Is it like some hipster smug douchebaggery to say like that's when Homestuck was still good? <laughs> Well, this like was the, peak. The very this, first I, time you've seen I Rose think, Lalonde. Th- yeah, like this. Well, I mean, maybe not that, but like, I think this might be the peak of the series for me. Or, or like when Rose enters. When Rose enters the like the period when like all the kids are entering the game. That's that's peak Homestuck for me. It's better than the troll stuff. I like the troll stuff fine, but like all the the time when all the four kids are entering the game is like. That when definitely the, when Homestuck feels is at its best. the big, the big hype. What's it? What's it called? Suburban countdown. What's what's the uh? Do 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 S um, um. What what is it? God, what is it? Which one? Which you one? You know the 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 one you were singing. I forget what it was called. Oh, the when when Rose breaks the bottle. Yeah, she breaks the bottle. John's fighting the big <sighs> ogres all over his house. Um. And yeah, Dave yeah. is is doing stuff to get Rose in the game. I love all that. That as, is really as, uh, really cool shit. As it's the as synchronicity cool. of all of these different things happening at the same time. Wait, is it called S synchronize? No, no, no. I feel that's. I feel like there is a you, no. There is a u, th- okay. there is an S unite synchronize where Jake mm. and Dirk and everyone they all get together. It's like two flashes. Uh. Uh, punctuated in the middle with a decapitation. I remember yeah, that. As great and as great and epic and cool and whoa as a S Cascade was, and it is. I think I like the old. I like these ones better. I really like the ones that are all hussy art. The ones that are early on when you're still sort of like finding out. I mean, you find out new stuff in Cascade, but like when you're when you're you're getting introduced to the world through the flashes. Uh, the one, the one where Rose enters, the one where and 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 Dave enters, and the one where uh, W V rise up when the when the the thing yeah. like I mean, those are all like and the, he flies across the map. Those are all like I I think my favorite my favorite when... flash in the whole series is the is Jade enter when she shoots the pinata. I think that is number one. Yeah, it's, that's oh, the song. Yeah. That's the same song I use for S Nega Slime Descend. I think I think that's what? the same. Was song. it? Oh yes, 
Right, you used visuals from S Cascade, but you used a different song. No, yeah. you're right. Yeah. That one like the green sun <laughs> this has become an- another <laughs> fucking homestuck cast. No, oh, we li- I the- like that. We need more of that. I, it's fine. The the green sun getting formed out of the two universes and uh j- <laughs> spoilers by the way and uh Rose and John and Dave going god mode. Like that was pr- a pretty big twist. That was pretty like whoa. But it I think for me even better was when and and it, it was you could see you could probably see it coming. I think other people saw it coming, but I was reading um serially. I was read it had all like been done before and I was reading through it really fast all in one go. I didn't have to wait between updates. So I didn't see it coming when um Beck uh, uh pro- prototypes himself. I was like, "Oh my god, the consequences. The consequences are so <laughs> dire right now. This is so fucked. They're fucked." And they yeah. were and it was great. I, I freaked out. I was like, nah. Because you know. Because yeah, you know what it means. You know yeah, what yeah, Beck yeah, is you... and what he can do. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's it's all the stuff They're you've fun. seen with John fighting, like, basic imps. And then Rose enters. Yeah. And then they become, like, there's extra. There's, like, they mutate. And they're even more tough. And John's like, what? And they're then... tough, but they're still, like, whatever. Like, oh, they got tentacles now. Yeah, okay, well, great. The precedent, yeah. the precedent yeah. is set that they will become more powerful yeah. when things are put in. And then... Like a literal god jumps in there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I think the the early uh, flashes, uh, like WV Rise Up and and stuff, those are like impactful. I think mostly, not mostly, but in part because that sort of showing of things happening has not like. You've seen like bits of music and bits of animation, but you you haven't seen like a big thing putting them all together to show so much plot happening all at once. And so much of the, yeah. the early part of the comic is just like reading. You know, you're just sort of going at your own pace. Like you you click on the next page when you're done reading. It's all very much within your control. And then these flashes are like, like they're so quick. I I remember feeling like I couldn't take all of it in the first time watching. Like, oh my god, that happening and what what does this mean? Ah, it's yeah. so it's so the, fast the pl- paced. The plot is so the plot is so slow and plotting, and it's like so meticulous and like you know page by page, only for and then in the flash is when like it all comes together and in a in a in a second it's like oh all that shit you set up boom payoff boom payoff yeah. Uh, yeah. all on this page. You spent like hours reading here and then and then it all pays off in like 30 fucking seconds. Oh, oh, mwah. God. I love Homestuck, man. I just it's so good. Sure I don't is. I don't I don't know. I, don't, I wonder. I don't think. I, if, I It's cold. Like Internet culture has fallen out of love with it. It's a little bit of a of a, of a scapegoat now. People like make fun of it now. Nobody takes it seriously anymore. But yeah, I think so. I think I like, like when people just say people homestuck, don't, don't really know about it anymore. I, I when people say homestuck, you know, it's like oh that thing before Undertale, like oh that thing that everyone used to be really weird about with all the weird fans and like the troll makeup, and it was like cringy. I feel like to call yourself a homestuck fan now has a little bit of the the stigma of being like a Sonic fan. Like it's for weirdos, and it's a weird thing, and it's funny. Uh, I suppose, but I, I mean, I see people say that and I just, I, I scoff at their existence because they're, they're I, coming I, from I, a place yeah. of, they're coming usually from a place of complete ignorance. Like, oh, isn't that like really long? Why would I read it? It's like, <laughs> yeah, true, why, why, yeah, why should I ever take that sort of person seriously? Is this the same people who are like, oh, I don't want to read One Piece. I mean, I, it's I have heard it's the greatest thing ever, but it's so many chapters. I but, don't want to do don't, it. But people don't talk about, yeah. They say that about One Piece, but they don't. They don't say I heard it's the greatest thing ever, but I don't want to read it about Homesick. They say, well, "Oh, th- I heard it's dumb, or I, only weirdos like it, or it, it it's embarrassing." Right? I I guess um, I don't hear that much of of that. I hear people because I'm in in uh, communities I'm in. People know about Homestuck, and the people who don't hear about it, and they're like, mm. you know, I should read that, but ah, oh, god, so much, so long. And you know what? I don't really like reading, in fact, and I'm stupid. Duh. Like, that's the sort of... <laughs> mm. 
that I don't think there's like a stigma. Don't don't as much. don't read don't read the pester sprites. Don't read the pester sprite or the pester, pester logs. logs. Just click through. Just look at the pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look at the pictures. Just don't get the just get the Vrisker <laughs> and then set it as your desktop yeah, background. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what you do. That's how you do it. The optimal reading experience. Um, Did I tell you that I I went through Homestuck for no real reason? Um, but I I I got. To, every single instance of Ruska appearing visually. And I, even That's in the flashes, up. I like, I paused it and I, I took screenshots and I got like every instance of Ruska in a, and I just put it in a folder. I don't even look at it. I just think it's funny that That's, I did that. That's, that's fucked up because <laughs> I've done, I've done a similar thing. Uh, but for a porn star, for my favorite porn star. Oh no. <laughs> that's the only person I've done something like that for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you just mean like downloading their videos? I'm I mean like going I mean like going through my favorite videos and like screen capping images and like saving the images out of the videos. Uh, and putting them in folders. Hmm. Uh, Maybe we could combine our, our powers and I could no. trace those drawings. I could trace those screenshots and put risk in no, there as well. Instead. Thank, no, thank you. <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to do that. <laughs> why, why screen grabs? Is this like a thing you did a long time ago? I, I, feel I like... don't know. I just, it's... It's easier to look at a picture than it is to like Load up scrub a through a video. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I never thought to do that. Uh, uh, well, I, still I mean, don't. I'm not saying I, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a normal thing to do. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, but, God knows, but, I want to be the most normal of all. Yeah. And just that's that's when you say you did that with Friska. I'm like, I did that, but it was a little different. <laughs> That's that's my um, what's the word? My my touchstone. That's my 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 point of reference for that kind of <laughs> degenerate behavior. It wasn't um, degenerate. It wasn't even a sex thing. Unlike yeah, yours. anything, anything homestuck. If you say, <laughs> if you say so, if you say so, anything homestuck is degenerate. Oh no 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 no! I do have a porn folder of all the Vriska porn <laughs> that exists. That yeah, is a thing, of course. But the the homestuck goes and, 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 and it's the same and it's the same folder and it's the same folder. No, they are completely separate <laughs> okay. because one of them is drawn by okay. Hussey and the other is well, one of them is canon. The other one is just like like if I see a pornography, but it has the Vriska horns. Even if I don't like it, I put it in there. I yeah. don't know why, because I look back at them. And I'm like, ugh, gross. Well, it's Vriska. do you do you do it for? Is it for like? I don't know, like references, like in case you need to refer to a, a Vriska moment, you have like a collection of the images on hand that no. you can easily access. No, hmm. I think I think it literally was like, wouldn't it be funny if I w I did that, and then I could say I did that, like haha, I'm insane, I like Vriska this much that I did no. this. Really? It was. It was. It was you were thinking. You were thinking like, haha, it would be so funny if I did this because people sure would think it was weird. <laughs> And well, quirky. <laughs> true. Mm. Unironically mm. true. Because I already had the Vriska porn folder. That was the degenerate. You did you did it to simply having you did every it to canon own the libs. Having every having you did every it to own like the canon libs. every canon like instance of Vriska visually. Yeah. Um was yeah. like not not as insane as the porn thing, I think. Maybe you, it, like, No, I know, no, actually. I think mine there's a tangible benefit to mine. <laughs> No, I mean mine. Like, like I already had the porn Vriska folder, oh, so like the safe for work, like the Canon Vriska folder, was just sort of like the same thing again. But at this time, I wouldn't go to to whack off about it. You know, I would just look at it. I would just have it. It would just be a collection I put on my wall or on my <laughs> shelf. Sure. Can you hear me? By the way, I can. Sorry, Discord was acting weird for a second. Okay. I mean, okay. Well, sure. I'll just I'll just let you have that. You know what? You can. This is America. This is a free. It's this a free country. Is, look, I don't care about what people think <laughs> about my folder. Yeah, yeah. Well, good because it's you wouldn't labeled like it w. If you knew what I think. Mm. Well, what do you think? It's you labeled. Think it's, dumb? it's labeled. No, no, no. It's fine. It's labeled W because you took you took that W just like me. Yeah, you love the W. Wait, why is it called W? 
No, it, it isn't. It was a joke based on you having talked oh. about W. Oh, I didn't get it. I'm sorry. Ugh. God. And then I brought up the just... Rose Lalonde picture, and now we're talking about Homestuck, and we have been talking about Homestuck. And then I talked about the Vriska and, and then, and 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 it just and it just goes around in circles. <laughs> it's a never-ending story. Um. Okay. I think we've covered that. <laughs> uh, are you? <laughs> Are you... Now that we thoroughly embarrassed ourselves. Absolutely. Uh, let's move on to something even more embarrassing. Talk about being a soy boy cuck who got the fucking Bill Gates microchip uh, implanted in him. I'm oh. chipped. I'm you're, bugged. You're vaccined. I'm vax. Are you? You're not vax. They don't. They're like not. No. The, doing them yet. I in... mean, I think I could get them if I followed up on it. Like if I say, "Hey, can I have my thing?" and they're like, "Sure." But they're doing it, yeah. they're like at uh, level 30. They're doing 30-year-olds. So it's not so long until uh, I'm, I'm going to get a text from the government saying, it is I, time for your uh, thing. God. Time for your ball flattening. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, the, the, yeah, I got my second shot uh, a couple days ago, and it's... Like, literally no symptoms. Everyone said, like, oh, it makes you kind of sick for a little bit. It makes you feel, uh, like, flu symptoms. Uh, not me. Uh, I didn't feel a thing, except it hurt a little bit for, like, that day, because I got, like, a little shot, and it kind of was sore. Uh, pretty cool. I'm just, I'm just wonder, built different. Yeah, I, I, I've always wondered, like, what about it? I guess in the same way that the virus affects people differently, the vaccine will affect people differently. I but I don't yeah. know how. I don't know how, like, the antibodies, like, just get get a clue quicker than the other ones. It is, it's really, it's pretty complicated, but I, like, I was, I was getting all, like, antsy about, like, oh, no, are they gonna, am I gonna fucking die from the vaccine? Ah, is it all just a fucking, is it all just an op? Uh, so, I, you know, I was looking up info about how, because I heard, I heard people calling it, like, gene therapy. Like, it's, like, something that fucks with your DNA. <laughs> and, and so that made me nervous. I was like, "Let me f let me find out the truth about that." Turns out, no, it's n it's not that. Um, They're it, talking about okay. denim jeans. It makes you. It's like, like they put they put RNA in your body, and your your fucking cells read the RNA, and it's it literally the RNA they put in is instructions to, you've you've seen the pictures of the coronavirus and it's like the ball with all the spikes coming out of it uh yes the it's thing. when they say when they say spike proteins what they mean is those spikes on the outside of the fucking ball it's literally RNA that contains the instructions to make those spikes and they fucking attach themselves to your cells and your other cells learn to kill them basically so is, i, I yeah. so what what it is that makes Blueprints. you sick is that it's that you yeah it's that your body is attacking the cells that have these uh spike proteins on them and it gives you the same symptoms you get when you're fighting off any like illness like when you get the flu for instance because that's your body it's your immune yeah. system killing your cells in response to getting all, the getting all into overdrive shit. heating up and right. taking up water and there's like we've got to put uh resources into war development we've got to make little nukes but it's but it's your it's they do inject rna they do inject genetic material into you but it does not interact with like your dna and in fact like a virus is made of genetic material a virus is made of rna so you would have the rna in your body if you got the virus anyway like those spike proteins go into your body because they're part of the fucking virus. So, you, like, you would get. It's really annoying because I saw people calling it gene therapy and saying it fucks with genes. And then I found out, like, no, it's just. It's a part of the virus that is made of RNA, same as any virus. You would get the same shit in your body, in your cells, if you just got the virus versus if yes, you get the vaccine. It is. It is and it's like, I, no, it's, it's totally insane. It's a complete, like, it's just a complete misunderstanding of what it of what a virus is. A virus it's, is literally made of genetic material. 
So don't fucking. St- uh, the, it was the um. Who was it? To- it was it was it was low it was lo-fi Republican and it was Razor Fist that I saw saying a bunch of shit about how the 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 oh, well, that, vaccine them. fucks with your DNA. I know, that's them. and They're I hate stupid. them. I fucking hate them. Ah! I fucking hate Razor Fist so much. I hate I hate lo-fi Republican too, but in a much less personal way. <sighs> okay, yeah. enough. Yeah, enough the- about them. Anyway, what were you saying? Oh, I was just saying, like, the way I've always thought about it, because I feel like I was told this when I was really young, or it's just mm-hmm. like, um, the a vaccine is like a tiny version of the virus that you will be protected from. It's like a practice round. You get like a baby version and people dis- to figure they, out how to kill the baby. And But they, the, if I you go told... around saying the vaccine contains some coronavirus, people will be even less, um, you know reticent to take yeah. it because they're stupid i was t- i was told as a kid that it a, a vaccine contains like some dead version of the virus um which is like maybe it's kind of true yeah this one because well, like, i don't are think saying... it can take over your body the, the, the thing like is you get sick afterwards but it's not because like whatever was put into you is like multiplying and turning into a virus that you will have it is just that your body yeah. is fighting it that it's all of the stuff yeah. that happens whenever you get sick in any way. You know, it's, I don't know. I, I, I almost feel like it's passe to be complaining about like anti-vax shit, but I don't know. I've just been seeing a lot this week and it makes me really mad. And people say, um, oh God. Um, oh no, I, I had a point. Oh no. What were we t- <laughs> it, it disappeared. Uh, people spike were saying anti Things. People were saying anti-vax stuff, uh, gene gene therapy. Um, uh, oh no! Oh um, oh yeah. People say two percent mortality rate. Oh, uh, it's only two percent mortality rate. It's you're probably not going to die if you get it. So why even fucking get the vaccine? And like, okay, first of all, imagine. Let's just take that on its face. Imagine. It's or even OK, because that's like only for like older people. So if you're younger than that, it's let's say it's like 0.1 percent. OK, imagine how much of a, a beating, right? A physical beating, a thrashing with a with a fucking hard like crowbar you would need to be inflicted upon you to die. Right. And then imagine instead that someone inflicts, you know, 0.1 percent of that on you. Are you OK? No, <laughs> you're not OK. <laughs> Um, it hurts really bad and it probably fucks you up. Um, second, uh, yeah, like the death rate is pretty low, especially if you're like the death rate's low, especially if you're young, especially if you don't have any like underlying, um, pathologies. That's true. But like the, 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 that doesn't mean that you're just fine. That doesn't mean that you get it. And then afterwards you're fine. And like, it's the stat is like, I think H bomber guy mentioned in the Vax video he just put out that like one third of people, like a third of people have chronic like long term side effects, like chronic long lasting like respiratory distress or, you know, loss of their sense of fucking taste (laughs) or whatever. And like this is the fallacy, right? It's like, oh, the death rate's low, so I'll probably survive. Yeah, but like you're not just okay. It's not the it's not like you either die or you're perfectly fine and nothing happens to you. It's some maybe you die or more likely it makes you really sick and it possibly fucks you up for a long time. That happens all the time. It's really common. <laughs> like, yeah, the the, yeah. The, the 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 consequences of it are not simply limited to the death toll, even though the death toll is really bad. Right. Like two percent death toll is actually really a really a lot of people. When we're talking about like the entire population of the United States and Europe and other places, oh my god, I'm upset. Yeah, um, the, it is. It is always a bit annoying to see like the the um, you know vaccines are on the table, they hurt a little yeah. bit potentially, and then yeah. you're immune. You know, pretty pretty much <laughs> unable to catch the virus, at least in the current strains. So it's like I'm... there's there's like so little downside to taking a vaccine, much in the same it... way that there's so little downside to wearing a mask. But people don't want to take even that, um, because they just can't imagine that they would be in peril. 
because they just what don't. Makes they me... just think they're they're gonna live and everyone else dies. Because that's always what happens. That's <laughs> what's happened every day of their life is that they've continued to be alive and other people have yes. died. So it can't be them. It could never be them. It's the. It's like. Every every living person is subject to survivorship bias because nothing has killed them yet, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I hate that. Oh, I see that all the time. I see that all the time. Like, you always assume that it's not going to get you because nothing has got you yet because you're still alive. But guess what? One day something's going to get you, <laughs> like it or not. Um, the... Um, ugh, what really makes me upset what really bugs me about it is that it, it got to me like the fact that it made me nervous about getting it I, I i was infected they infected me with the virus of thought right with the fear mongering it, it worked it fucking made me like oh everyone else is afraid of it i should be af- i sh- should i be afraid oh that makes me nervous it worked on yeah. me i'm not immune to propaganda <laughs> And the fact that it's so common, I was seeing all over the place. I'm like, is there is there something to this? Is there something to all this fucking fear mongering? Uh, there must be, or else why would uh, so many people be repeating it? Uh, um, it is, yeah. Damn. It's, it's annoying. Because, like, you go around life and most people don't really know things. They just have heard true. and believe certain bits. If you go and look at, like, yeah. data like scientific studies about it really anything um you can get a much clearer understanding of of what the actual knowledge is sometimes you learn that it's inconclusive and that any assertions made would be hasty and then you realize that the people who like you know why would they make this assertion other than uh, other than other potential assertions oh it's their bias oh okay I, mm. I I I get a sense of why the discourse is the way it is, um, and you know it just depends on a lot of factors that have nothing to do with the real, you know, the real like actual quantifiable information. So I don't know. Right. I, right. Uh, there's yeah, I don't know. I don't particularly. I I feel pretty confident in vaccines. I have no reason to like suddenly doubt them. Um, so whenever I heard something was like fucked up, I always think of that as like a dumb American thing because dumb Americans are known for being dumb and I hear about dumb things. Did you watch the H bomber guy, uh, vaccine video? Do you watch H bomber guy? Uh, I think I've seen a few of his videos. They're okay. I, I didn't watch the vaccine. I, I, he's not my... (laughs) I'm not like a huge H Bomber guy fan or anything. I think he's all right. Uh, he doesn't put out videos that often. So he put out the vaccine one and I, I watched it. Um, and I didn't know that like a lot of the, you say it's a dumb American thing, but a lot of like the modern anti-vax movements started in the UK because there was like there was literally oh. one guy who had a fucking I don't remember his name. I recommend that video. But there was one guy who had a fucking he basically like published a fraudulent paper that said that tried to he falsified data published a fraudulent paper that tried to establish a link between not even vaccines in general just one specific vaccine and autism and the reason he did it spoilers is because he then tr- wanted to peddle an alternative vaccine that he claimed wouldn't cause autism. The whole point was just he he wasn't even anti-vax. His whole point was just don't buy that vaccine, buy my vaccine instead. And then to do that, he created this fucking huge uh, anti-vax God. like cultural culture of fear that has persisted to this day. <laughs> so so uh, money motivated this, right? It's yes. capitalism all over again. Everything is it's always capitalism. True. True. This is particularly particularly insidious, though. Well, yeah, it's, but it, I, fuck. I I mean, I I say dumb Americans. I did grow up like that's like the the stereotype. Like, oh, Americans, they eat a lot I, of McDonald's and they're I dumb. have the but I have the there same is, stereotype. There is like a there the, there is like a a sense of like superiority in Britain that makes people think that they can't be wrong. The more uh, I learn about Britain, we're the more I realize other places. So yeah, the, the I think... more I learn about Britain, the more I realize that you guys are kind of prone to most of the same failings as we are. Just oh, in very absolutely. like 
in not in like it's a little bit different flavor but of like the same fucking psychosis <laughs> I, I, yeah. I don't remember where i heard this um i feel like it was a documentary just on tv that i was watching but it was about um people like british people saying about like like uh like a race relations like Oh well, British people mm-hmm. aren't racist, and of course there is racism in England and and Britain. All that it's mm-hmm. like there's a lot of it. There's a lot of it in football, um, like explicit racism. Sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. I there, I know what you're talking you know, about. And there's all that sort of stuff, and people, normal mm-hmm. people, just assume that it isn't the case because, well, we're British, we're good, and that's sort of like <laughs> a weird, a weird like sense of of righteousness like yes britain we're so great we won world war ii uh you know we did all of these things <laughs> yeah. we had winston no Churchill. we won world war ii with I our know. guns it's 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 because i think that we could look at america and say ha look at them being dumb in certain ways we are not like that at all and just like ignore yeah. the problems we have and it's really embarrassing going i don't want to now be... and seeing that we have Fucking so much turf power, so much turf so power. So much turf in the UK. power. It's. I don't want to be the. I don't want to be the America defender, but I do kind of think that like America being how it is is a little bit, of, maybe a little bit of a scapegoat that like people don't yeah. notice when Britain is bad because America is usually worse in most ways. Usually. A lot of the time, a little bit of a shield. Hashtag not your shield. I wouldn't say uh, that there's anything necessarily good about like trans acceptance in the US but I feel like it would be better than the UK I would the somebody moment. somebody clip that somebody clipped somebody clip Gibbs saying there's nothing good about trans acceptance it's like <laughs> put it no, on I mean, the, like uh, the sta- yeah. No, yeah. I mean yeah, you, you, you yeah. can't clip a yeah. video <laughs> yeah. you'd have to download the whole you, thing you, we're on twitch we'll put this on twitch.tv and then clip it like the state okay, of it okay anyway it's, it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel like it's I don't know I would have to actually look into it. it, it I feel it, like it there varies. is a bit of hysteria as well. It uh, it varies from state know. to state. Like a lot of, you know, a lot of the red states are. I, I see a lot of like headlines that are like, you know, like I don't know, uh, uh, Alabama or Tennessee is like passing a resolution to like, you know, force businesses to put up fucking warning notices that like they let trans people use their bathroom of choice or whatever. It's. Correct me, correct me if oh, I'm yeah. wrong, but like, I don't, I don't, isn't that, I don't understand that. Like, what's the, has a, has a business not, I, uh, is a, does a business not by default just like allowed to let any, whoever they want use whatever bathrooms they want? Is that not uh, like a yeah, thing that, that is everyone thing. is just allowed the, to decide for themselves? I, I, I didn't look into this too much. I did see it on Twitter a bit. I think what it is, and the reason it's bad, is that it requires... I mean, I know why um, it's bad. It, it, it requires people to put in their establishment, we accept trans people so that cis people or you know bigots can look at that and can be avoid like, them. Oh, oh, I don't want trans... I don't want to be in the same place as a trans person. Let's get out of here, you know, scamper yeah. away like freaks. Um, and, and that is sort of, but like, I don't know. That's so, I, I couldn't... that's so fucked. That's so fucked. Yeah. Even like, imagine if, like, imagine if they said, even if it wasn't trans people, even if it was just like, you had to put up a notice that's like, I, I don't know. We fucking let, uh, anything. We, we fucking let any kind of warning. We let X kind of person use our bathrooms it really it's uh, we really let... just like because they can't make it so that you're allowed to discriminate against people based on their uh gender uh identity like they can't so, make a law about that so this is the next best thing for for like being is... bigoted and allowing that to happen is is that so they're literally we can, we just can saying allow like, people to avoid them this is this is literally like oh my god this is this is th- <laughs> The fucking free speech people, they must love it. Because this is literally saying, businesses, you were allowed to just let whoever use your bathrooms that you want, but we would like to pass a law that will punish you. You you must you must now either not let anyone we don't think you should be letting 
use your bathrooms or you have to put up these notices letting people know what freaks you are uh, or something. I just, and that's I just, a little fucked. Bathrooms that, is such a weird fucking thing. All I want to do is diarrhea with all the girls. I just want to go in diarrhea with all the girls. That just is what I want to do. People, What's so bad about diarrheaing where people, I would like to do it? People talk about the bathroom thing like it's some kind... I, I, I don't think there's any like law that says that like public places have to have like a bathroom that only you know biological men can use and a bathroom that only biological women like i don't think that's a law that's just sort of a convention that that places have started doing maybe some places it's a law i don't know but it's not it's it's not some kind of like incontrovertible fact of the universe it's just a thing people do it's a thing businesses do because i don't know people I mean, lots of lots of businesses, lots of stores just have like one unisex bathroom. Like that's pretty normal. I do. Th do those people have to put a notice up that says trans people are allowed to use their one bathroom? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's just such a weird, you know, the, point that has continued the, the to answer, be like a part of the the discussion around trans people. It's just the a, answer. It, it's then, just an excuse to say I think they should be uh, ostracized. They don't really care the about where they're shitting. It, the answer then is that you can just say you can just call both your you, if you have two bathrooms, you can just say like, oh, yeah, they're unisex. They're both unisex bathroom. One has a picture of a man and the other has a picture of a woman on it. Uh, but that's just a, a dog whistle. <laughs> that's just uh, <laughs> that's just an accident. I didn't I didn't mean to put those up there. They're both like... they're both unisex bathrooms. It's, it's fine. It's, it's no, it's no notice, a dress please. code. No, you're, you're not no allowed fucking, in unless you're literally wearing no, a dress or a no suit. big yellow triangle with an exclamation point in it on my establishment. Thank you very much, <laughs> government. Out of out of my house, please. Uh, lol. Stupid. It's very stupid. Um, it's insulting. This is an insult when you think about it. It's just spite. It's just spite and I don't know cruelty. Just to be, just yeah. to be cruel, just to say fuck. It's literally, literally just owning the libs. It's literally just legislation passed to own the libs and make people feel bad <laughs> that you don't like. Um, and it's great, and I, I love it. <laughs> it I is love spite. Exhausting. Yeah, hideous, uh, uh, hideous yeah. miscarriage of justice, Lamal. <laughs> uh, so cool. Well, the other day... What else? Yeah. The other day, I was trying to do some drawing, um, mm. and I and I got a whole one panel done, and then it was yeah. the end of the day it happened. I was like, oh. Were you... Were I you, did um, a panel. Were you streaming? No, I was gonna... I'm, I'm thinking of streaming soon. Um, no, next month. <sighs> well, I guess this month, when this episode comes out. Um, mm. on, on Twitch, I guess, that's what I was doing before. Um, yeah. I want to go over the, the Clarissa comic. I want to add shading, because I was rushing. I didn't add any shading to any of the pages I wanted to. So I'm going to do that, and then mm. I'm going to like draw the rest of the comic so that it's finished. Um, and that the stream is like a good way to force myself to get some of that done. But there was this other comic that I was originally going to do for the Kato anthology that I couldn't, because of illness didn't have the energy to get mm. done in time. Um, and I've been mm. wanting to finish that. Um, and it's going real slow. I, I, I look at the sketches and I'm like, I don't fucking know how to turn this into a thing. So I managed to ch do one panel line art and that was it. And then I, I played video games the rest of the day. I had... <laughs> I'm I'm worse because a, a a couple days ago, like two or three, I think like two ish days ago, I opened up Manga Studio because I had to make a, a sprite. I needed to make a new, not not just a set of sprites for the um for the game, and it was very daunting, and I was getting frustrated with it because it wasn't coming out right. And I finally was like, oh, I don't, I'm getting mad. I don't want to work on this anymore. Uh, so I went and I played some Noida, and I haven't worked on it since, and it's been like two days. I just played Noida for like two days straight. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, but it's true. I mean, 
it that's uh. how it be. I the, the reason I got so stuck was because the sketch I had was too vague. I was like I was looking at it and I'm like but I'm on mm. line art mode. I, I in line art mode I don't want to think. I just want to draw. And then I could see yeah. the sketch and I'm like where do I put the torso here? I don't even know. Oh god, it's so messy. I'd have to redo the sketch. And as soon as I realized I would have to redo the sketch, I stopped. I was like, okay, yeah. I'll I'll just, you know, I'll just go diarrhea in the women's restroom. That's all I want to do you just, right now. That's that's your that's your solution to everything, Gib. You can't solve all your problems with <laughs> diarrhea in the in the women's sleep restroom. Well, where uh, else am I supposed to diarrhea? I don't know. Fucking the just do it in my unisex bathroom that has a picture of just a do it on the person floor. in a dress on it. That should that should be the yeah. way to to protest all of this bathroom stuff. Just to the way to on protest. The floor. Not non sis only bathrooms. You shit on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Why not? Shit on the door. Uh, shit on the door handle. Don't shit on the shit. Go into go to Congress and shit on shit in shit in Congress's bathrooms. Like shit all over their sink. Uh, uh when they when they pass laws we don't like. <laughs> uh, I I condone it. Um, Just go I gotta say the, though, go up to the roof and like shit on them from the roof. The- <laughs> through the windows <sighs> the the discourse becomes uh, you know i i don't have any problem with trans people a lot of my i have empathy for them a lot of my friends i have a lot of many trans friends however i just can't get behind that they just keep shitting on me from the rooftops <laughs> everywhere you go <laughs> you know the, america's like, like a falling flock apart. of birds this this is Joe Biden's America. You have BLM burning our cities down, and then the ones that are still standing, you have trans people sitting on people from on top of the buildings that are still standing. It's an epidemic across just in time for COVID to die down. We have a new epidemic of trans people sh- diarying off of fucking skyscrapers. <laughs> what do they think they're doing? It's unsanitary. <clears throat> it's, yeah, I just baby. want a place to shit. This is this is what you've reduced me to. I'm so glad I voted for Biden to make this happen. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I gotta say though, that two days of playing Noida was very, very fruitful. I accomplished many goals. I accomplished new things that I've never done before. I had the ultimate god run. I've started abu- abusing save states uh, uh, because I had the perfect run. I became an ultimate god. And I'm like, this is it. This is the run. This is the run where I, I do it all. I, I I collect. I gathered all the four essences and I brought them to the moon. I cracked the moon, and then I went down to hell and I took them to the hell moon and I cracked the hell moon. And I wow. I did it. I did both. I did both moon things. I know. I know. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I did. So I did a I cool. Never game have thing to do those too. again. Now I never have to do those again. Tell me about your cool gamer thing, if well, you dare. I have been. If you think it I can compare been... to cracking the moon, oh, it can, it can. So mm. you know, I've been, mm. I've been into Picross and stuff. Um, mm-hmm. on on Picross, th- this website, Picross, slash Picross. I don't remember exactly. Uh, yeah. cool website. I think I've mentioned it before. They have uh, the maximum size of a random Picross board. Uh, with randomized spaces is 30 times 30 and recently i finally after like hundreds of failures uh i've completed one without any mistakes ah. a 30 times 30 picross board if you if you look at this image pretty you good get a sense of wait of, oh i'm not looking at the image <clears throat> of of how uh. much how daunting that could be one slip up, oh. one incorrect click, and it's completely over. So everything had to be calculated, and it was it was oh. so gratifying. Yeah, that's a lot of squares. That's uh, that's a lot of squares. How long did that take? I mean, this I it doesn't take that long. Maybe an hour. Um, sometimes mm. if I get stuck, it can take a couple days on and off. But most of the time, it's just the the stamina required and like the the brain power and then the the paying attention to exactly where you're clicking 
if you make one mistake, if I like think I'm clicking on one column and it's actually the column next to it that I should be clicking on and I make a mistake, then it's over. I can continue, mm, but I yeah. won't get the rainbow at the end. I won't get the perfect ending because uh, all the blocks go rainbow colors and flash rainbow if you don't make any mistakes and get 100% of it yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh yeah, the, the, the I failed because of like slip ups and like not paying attention enough or like losing my patience fucking something up or there have been so many of these where I get so close to the end and then there's a 50/50. It could be one, it could be another. There's no way to know, there's no information that I could use to figure it out. It could just be this one or another one. And I get it wrong. And that's happened like six or seven times. But this time, this particular map uh, yeah. was was no guesses. It was the perfect yeah. board. And I completed it completely. And I didn't have to guess. And it was so... And I've, I <laughs> never have to play Picross again. <laughs> you finally. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, I do have to play Noida some more because I cracked the moons, but I have not uh, I have not made the sun, um, which I uh, I got to make the fucking sun, I guess. So I'm just, uh, yeah, the best uh, way to make the sun is to get the wife and in, in pregnant. <laughs> you got to you got to what do you got to do? You got to like you got to. I gotta go beat all these like bosses that didn't used to be in. When I started playing, they weren't in the game, but they've been added. So I gotta go fight all these new bosses, get some new items they drop, uh, do some shit to them, and then throw some other like rare items in them to make them do things. And then it makes a sun. And then I gotta take the sun from one place to another place, and it's very dangerous because it turns everything to lava. And it fucking, if you, it kills you, it deals you insane damage. If you go inside of the sun, it will, like, atomize you and turn you into gold. Um, you know, it's it's pretty fucked up. You gotta throw the poop stone in it to turn it into a black hole. Uh, if you, if you're real spicy, uh, which I, I want to do that. Uh, it's very, it's pretty fucking tedious, though. Honestly, all the endgame notice stuff, there's a lot of, like, it's a lot of sh running around and getting shit you gotta do and i i got so strong that it's all pretty trivial like i'm i have like i can like swim in lava now i can swim in acid i'm like i'm all I'm immune to almost any i can just run through curse rock which is like the deadliest thing in the game nothing can hurt me anymore uh so it's oh, just a matter of like hmm. i mean yeah that's just what happens like when you when you when you play long enough and you like go to enough like parallel worlds and get enough power ups, you can just make yourself like you're not completely invincible. You can never be completely immune to like polymorph. But other than that, it's like I'm pretty set. I'm pretty much pretty much just a matter of go to the different places and collect all the shit you need to get, bring them back, do the thing. Kind of a lot of busy work, honestly. It's honestly not that fun. It's more fun yeah. just because of this. It's more fun just because like it sounds cool to talk about, but like the actual, the actual doing of it is like okay. I got to go to these four places that are on four different parts of the map and get the item, and then I bring them up to this place. And oh, is, did I miss it? Okay, I got to kind of. Oh, it's more left than there. Let me gonna try and find it again. Let me get my bearings. Okay, I found it. Okay, I got it. All right, now I gotta go down to hell and do the same thing in a different place. Okay, I did it. And it just like takes a few hours. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. trying to think. There's a few. There's a few games that have that sort of experience where you you level out the the challenge. You're too powerful to die. Um, you can yeah. die if you feel like it, but your skill level as a player is just you only need to put in the barest amount of effort in order to beat anything. And so yeah. you're really just watching a, a, an avatar run around and occasionally mm -hmm. doing something. It's like, I don't... The challenge is gone. There's no reason for me to do this. It feels like like um, getting like a super ultimate weapon at the very, very end of a game when you've already beaten yeah. it. And it's like, well, yeah. what is the what is the? It, use it doesn't of help this you because you didn't need it anymore. Because I, I didn't need that yeah. to get to this point. That was the challenge. Now that I have the ultimate weapon, <clears throat> I don't need it. Just throw it away. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pfft. hang on, I gotta pee. Oh my god.
I just um I've put so much I've put so much time in Anoida that I feel like yeah the the final the final quests are they're very complicated and they're very like esoteric actually doing them is like once you're once you're basically god level it's not that hard it's not really a challenge it's basically just like looking up how to do it and then just do it um i i think i mean if you were doing it with no spoilers if you were like figuring out all the lore yourself i that would be the real challenge i I feel maybe a little bad that I looked up how to do it because like there are clues in the game that you can find that hint at what you're supposed to do. And I can only imagine that if I had done it like that, I would be like, whoa, I would just be blown away um, if I ever fucking. But I don't think I would. I don't think I would have done it. Is it so esoteric? You... Oh, yeah. I'm just saying I'm saying that I think the real challenge of the Noida end game is like piecing together the clues that it gives you to figure out how to do things like make the sun. But I didn't do that. And I don't think I would have done it. I just looked, I just looked it up. Yeah. I just looked it up. I don't think I would have done it. I don't think I would have had the patience to legitimately like go through run after run, like trying different, like, Oh, it says that like the sun can be like corrupted with an intoxicating influence. Like, does that mean, I have to put whisk whiskey into it. Oh no no! I have to, I have to use the I have to use um the essence of spirits at the nullifying altar to get the poop stone. I have to, and now I can't just throw it into the sun. I have to enter the sun and it will eat it from me. And that's how you make the black hole. Like, I just wouldn't do it. <laughs> like uh, like ex- yeah. w- would experimenting trial and error would that be extremely costly? Like you'd have to throw items together and then they'd be useless afterwards. And you'd have I to do mean, that a bunch of times yeah. to figure out what they actually mean. Because that sucks. Yeah, like it's like it's really hard to get like the poop stone, for instance, to if you like were to just throw it into the sun thinking that that's what you need to do and the sun just destroys it, then you're like, OK, well, that was the only one I was going to get. I need to I need to like do a whole fu- I need to go gather up all the orbs, bring all the orbs back to the altar, enter like the next level new game plus. And then go get the essence of spirits again. Go to the do the whole sunseed quest again, and then get the poop stone again. Throw that in and see if it works. And you have to do something different with it this time. Yeah, stuff like that. And I just wouldn't yeah. do it. Yeah, I can't imagine anyone doing something. It's it, it's it feels. I mean, like, a lot of the a lot of like, the lore in the game is like it's like it feels sort of like Fez in that like it's not designed to be solved by one person. It's designed to be like a sort of community mystery to solve. You know, I hate that. I don't know why, but I just hate like things that are that rely on the existence of a large player base of a, a large community to form that wants to figure it out. Like I, you're banking on that being yeah. the case, but like. It, I'd rather it just be like a puzzle that you can solve with your own wit. It just the makes sun, so, the so much seed. more satisfying yeah. to be to be the one who can figure it out, and then say to your friends, sun, "Oh, the, I know how to do it." The Sunseed quest, I feel like some of the things are explicit enough that you could maybe figure it out, but some of the other things, like the like the lore snippets that are like hidden in like the tablet altars that you need to bring like certain fluids to and fill the the all the altars with to make like this secret text appear and then you got to translate it from fucking finnish and do like a rune cipher on it that stuff is like i don't think one person is meant to solve it and i i think that's cool in theory but i don't want to engage with it on that level. I don't really like feel like being some guy on a forum who's like, okay, this guy posted screenshots of the runes. I ciphered them. My friend, I I showed it to my friend who speaks Finnish and he told me that it means this. So this is the next snippet and I'll add it to like the next one. And then tomorrow I'll I'll go and do another one or whatever. I don't want to play the game that way. (laughs) Uh, It's for other people. I just want to be a little man who shoots guns. (laughs) uh that's that's for me yeah i feel like if you want a puzzle then you should play a puzzle game where like that is a, a, a an expected thing so you go mm. into it honing your skills at puzzle solving so that when you come up to like the difficult ones you're you're into I... it you don't need to look up 
the results <laughs> like the 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 what you need to do in like a point and click game if you end up looking I, up what you need to do you don't like the game it sucks and you don't want to play I, it i don't i don't think i agree I, I i do think it's cool that it's a game that you can just play on a surface level of I'm a little man's I run around I shoot guns I kill monsters I beat the boss I win but then on top of it there's another layer of like oh did you know that if you go into the the fucking underground jungle and go west to the lucky lair and at the bottom there's an altar and if you fill the altar with you know cursed liquid then it shows secret text and it forms like um, one 36th of like the sacred text of like the gods or whatever that explains like where the world how the world was formed i think that's really cool i just uh, don't feel like doing yeah, it yeah <laughs> no i i guess i guess yeah I, I guess it's it's not bad that um it's not explained i think it's just the the feeling that it gives you that some things you can figure out and then there's other things that you could try to figure out, but it would just take a really, really long, tedious time. So they may, they may as well have not given you a hint for <clears> the, <throat> the, you know, the poopstone sun thing. If that was the, the only way, like the only way to figure it out is to do extremely lengthy, tedious bullshit, or you could just go to Wikipedia. Yeah, I, it does make me feel bad. It does kind of negatively impact my experience of the game because it makes me feel bad that I, I'm not, going to do all that stuff i'm that i'm not like you know solving the sun seed quest on my own um but that's a me problem the 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 i tried i don't know one time i tried to do a full run where i found everything and it was so hard it was like i spent so long i was i was god mode i had everything i needed i could go anywhere do anything and i i didn't find like half of the fucking stuff like there's stuff I spent like so long just going everywhere I could think of, just going random places, just searching and searching and searching for stuff. And I didn't find all the stuff I was looking for. And I didn't even find like a bunch of the stuff that I know is in the game, like a bunch of the secret bosses that I've never even seen uh, seen before, but they're there. And I guess I'm just not a fucking hardcore enough gamer. I don't know. I don't know. The game fucking beat me. <laughs> There were like whole biomes that I didn't even know were there. The the power I didn't find the power plant uh for ever. <laughs> I don't know, it's embarrassing. Hard I feel a little, hard... I feel a little embarrassed. Just saying. I don't think like a hardcore gamer to such a degree even really could exist. Like imagine a single person never went but it, to Wikipedia but it and kills figured me. out everything. But it kills me because in hindsight I know that I could have found it if I had like if I had ever decided to, you know, go further below the sand caves oh and then under the sand caves there's the there's the overgrown caverns okay well then if what if i go even further then i find the power plant like i i could have done that i just never did and i think maybe the re honestly i think maybe the reason that i didn't do that is because i know that there is a wiki that i can just look shit up on maybe if there was yeah. no wiki i would have just played the game the right way and just gone exploring like that and found shit. And then I would still be in the process of being like, Oh wow, there's a, there's an, a secret fifth essence at the bottom of the lake. Like, Oh my God, like, wow. Um, but there is a wiki and there's, <laughs> what's the point? What's the point of wondering what could have been? I don't know. So I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little annoyed now. I'm a little annoyed. I feel like I've been robbed of that, but also, I, well, I, the thing is, it's because it's my fault, can, you, and there's no one to be mad at but myself. Well, it's because the game has that first level of you could just play the game as a shooty guy shooting things and shooty shooty McShooter like hell yeah, or, chainsaw, chainsaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could you you could do that, and because of that, the game fundamentally is not about like the the draw of the game is not fundamentally exploration in that way you can explore yeah. but yeah. it's more fun to just go pew pew with the with the wand right like that's why you're into the game that's it, for certain I mean, people yeah, that's, it would be more interesting kind of game, to right. do the exploration and the shooting stuff yeah. is like less interesting i think the fact is some people find like any any game that has like multiple facets of it there's only certain people who would 
who would bother to do all of this extreme experimenting to find the super secrets. And, but you... and, and like the player base may not all be into that sort of gameplay because it's not the main point of the game. That's why I was talking about with like point and click adventures. Nobody plays a point and click adventure um, and, and looks stuff up if they can help it. Only when they're ter- only if, they're, if they're like terribly, terribly stuck or if they just don't like that sort of game and they've found themselves playing it. It's it's a little I don't know how I feel about it. It's a little weird because you, you have to be you have to be a certain level baseline proficient at running and jumping and being a little shooty man in order to be able to do the like advanced like, oh, I found the cauldron room under the he he see base oh i found the i found the 30 the 34th orb in the, like the secret like one in 10 million uh great chest or whatever yeah uh the, you, you have to be able to like at the very least you know beat the game and and get well, yeah, all the, you, yeah, the power-ups not, and stuff that you need i think it's yeah it's, you have to so it's not good. it's not like you can just do one or the other you have to be good at the one before you yeah have I, the opportunity to do the other I think it's just which is cool. Them. I don't know. It's co- it's cool, but it's also like, damn, it it sure must Being... suck if like you're just someone who wants to explore the lore and the world. But the, also, it's like kind of cool that like you kind of have to be good at shooting and killing because like I don't know. It's sort of like like the real world. Like you don't just get to do shit. You have to earn it, <laughs> even if it's, it's not fair that you have to do that. Uh, uh, I lost my train of thought because you made me wait. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh... What was it? Uh, fucking uh, pe- different types of people. You do shooting. Yeah. You do exploration later. It's like a skill. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, people who get to such a proficient level by playing the game, like on the baseline, it's like the normal gameplay loop. If you like that and it's fun, you'll keep playing. You'll get. You'll gain like a lot of experience yeah. by playing the game over and over <clears throat> again. Once you get yeah. so bored of things you've seen, you start to get curious, and then you might go out and try something different, try something that you yeah. didn't, you know. That's how you get to a point where you can do all of the exploration and find all of these secrets while being proficient, because you had to be proficient to get there in the first place. Those sorts of people really, really love the core gameplay. And I guess, yeah. I guess it's just a matter of, like, you don't know if a game is going to be worth exploring that much. And so you would only play it that much in order to find those things if you just love the game and would play it over and over again for hundreds of thousands of hours anyway. I I had I had a very frustrating experience. I was I had two stacks of the uh glass cannon perk which basically makes your it quintuples your damage. And it also, like, increases the radius of all explosions that you make, including even ones just, like, from a chainsaw. So so basically just everything I do just explodes fucking everywhere, right? And I needed to go to a certain place and put stuff into these three, like, bowls, basically, to activate an altar that would remove all my perks because I wanted to remove some of them and just keep a few. So, and I know that this place requires me to fill one with blood, one with whiskey, and one with silver. And I knew how to get silver. Uh, I had I had the means to create it, but I didn't have any means to transport it, because the only way to transport silver is in a bag. And bags are... I mean, I'd seen them around, but I'm pretty sure I had destroyed all bags by just blasting black holes everywhere and, like, <laughs> tearing holes through the landscape to, to travel. <laughs> So I had to go like I had to go through like half a dozen diff- maybe not, I had to go through like three or four whole different like biomes going down through places where I thought that I might find bags and then I'm like nope none here and then I had to go to the next parallel world over and go through the same area like looking for bags looking for bags oh no none here none here and I I finally found a bag but it was underwater and I had to I and I had this is one of the perk one of the reasons I wanted to do this thing was I had a perk that froze liquids anytime I came near them 
And so I couldn't get the bag without freezing the water. And then if I tried to break the ice that formed when I went in to get the bag, it would explode and it would destroy the bag because I had I was double glass cannon. I was exploding with power. So I had to like very carefully go under the water that it was in and like really carefully try and make explosions to like just break a little hole in the in the ground under the water to let the water drain out of it so that I could get on top of the bag and grab it without freezing the water it was in and I failed several times and every time I failed and destroyed the bag I would have to go the next parallel world over go back to the same spot that I found the bag in find it again and try again to like break the ground in just such a way without destroying the bag uh, finding this bag to hold the silver in was a big fucking shit show. <laughs> That's a, such uh, a it was video kind of funny thing. Is it like silver yeah. bars or just silver? Oil? No, silver like silver like powder, basically. Um, <clears throat> like yeah, there's I um. Mean, you could you could have torn off a little bit of your like cloak and made a bag out of that in in real life. In yeah, in real life, it should not have been hard to find bags, and I had found bags before. I just I I don't. I hadn't needed any bags, so I hadn't kept them, and they had all just been discarded and and destroyed. Um, yeah, pretty pretty dumb. Uh, there are there are there are ways to make silver. So like getting there's a bunch of different ways. You, there are other metals you can find that you can mix with liquids that transform them into silver. And the way that I did it was I had a um a spell called chaotic transmutation that will apply a sort of random, like, turn other liquids into something effect to a projectile. So I could just fire that into, like, a big pool of water, <clears throat> and eventually it would fire a projectile that would turn a big chunk of liquid into silver, and then I would just collect the silver. Uh, what I ended up doing was I used that, and I fired a crystal that, was in, that would turn stuff into silver, and then I poured blood. I fired that down a hole, and then I poured blood down the hole. So the blood would flow over this crystal and, like, kind of tumble down the, the hole on the other side of the crystal, having been transformed into powdered silver. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I love Noida so much. Uh, uh, alchemy. I'm so smart. I'm so intelligent because I play this video game that's kind of hard. Cool. <laughs> My throat hurts. I'm sorry. I feel like I've monopolized. I feel like we've monopolized this podcast with Noida talk. Um, well, I got having having some... do, having done the moon quests. I think I'm gonna take a break from it for a while. Hmm. Uh, back to the fucking Ben Saint. Ben Saint says sorry. he's gonna take a break. I wonder what that means. <sighs> Shut up. Shut up. What were, what were you saying? Oh, well, I wanted to talk a little bit about the <clears throat> Lord of Ghosts. Oh, yes. Because, oh, yes. Uh, Please. The, the, the Keto guys. They... Keto guys? Keto. The, ca- the, 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 keto, <laughs> the Keto anthology. Oh, no. Fuck yeah. How embarrassing for them <laughs> um, <laughs> to be even slightly similar to Keto. Uh, mm. The Keto anthology guys, they were saying last episode about Lord of Ghosts Kickstarter. I got my, you know, I was thinking about it. I looked into printing costs and stuff, and you know, could be done. I I could do it. Sure. I, by the by the time by the time uh this podcast comes up, I'm it may have been launched. I don't know, because I'm scared. I'm scared of of fucking it up and doing something stupid. Uh, but yeah, I I kind mm. of really want to do that. Aren't we all? Yeah. Ben, sure. you you did a comic Kickstarter. What? What what even the fuck? It was, was so that? easy. It was so easy. Nothing could have been simpler. <laughs> Wait, what do you want to know? What are you asking me? Um, I guess the guest artists, because I've I, I've contacted a few people oh. about like doing like mini adventures, and I thought that would, yeah, you know, this is the thing you did, and I thought that was really cool. It would be a cool stretch goal for a lot of ghosts. Um, yeah. Um, but how mm-hmm. does that work? I want to pay them, obviously, but like I don't know how much. Uh, you should probably ask. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Kind of depends on the artist. Uh, I mean, maybe just pay a page rate or just a flat, like you know, a certain amount per story, and then you know, structure your 
structure your stretch goals so that like, okay, if we hit this much, then that's enough to cover, you know, one more, you know, story added to the thing, including like paying the artist uh, plus the like printing costs of adding more pages. Um, and then, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I don't know, you, just of... gotta, you just gotta make the numbers add up <clears throat> one way or another. It's just a lot of like, I like information I need that I couldn't possibly have yet. Um, such as how mm. many pages they're going to be, how long, well, I yeah. mean, I guess it doesn't matter how long they're going to take, I, you know, but like, um, the, 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 well, the amount of effort they put in, should I pay them a working rate for how long they work? I don't know. I don't it, know. It's, th that's, I mean, that's like, depends on the artist. That depends. You can, you can make any offer you want. You can, you can be, you can be like, I'll pay an hourly. Honestly, I wouldn't pay an hourly rate because that, like, that's dependent on them to like track their hours. And uh, I don't know. Sure. That's just that just seems weird. I would pay either just a page rate or like a flat rate for um, like make me this story. I will pay you this much. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's um, one aspect of it is the the money thing. But then you know, presuming yeah. I get enough, like I, I'd obviously have it like stretch goals so that there's plenty of money so that I can pay them rather than not enough um mm -hmm. uh, but like then there's the the thing of like writing these little stories i have very vague ideas like oh there could be something with hippo and in in, in Bitsakony. uh that's new new big by the sea uh aka neo york yeah well and it's like uh, you know there's like could, Little little adventures with these characters. There's plenty of characters. There's this big city. Stuff could happen. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I, I'd, yeah, I'd have I to. Like I'd have to. I think. like it. I'd have to think of like something that was something because I've always been terrible with. I mean, f efficient storytelling. I tell my stories in extremely <laughs> long form. Uh, I can't mm. write a short one. It's impossible. Do you? I mean, do you? So you don't have like concepts ready to go of like what the side stories would be. No, I could I could probably think of some stuff because there's <clears throat> plenty to work with. <clears throat> yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, what what was your creation process for? Honestly, the, the my fucking rats? I fucking was so bad at that. I had. You know, I, they came out really well and all the guest artists made really good stuff. Honestly, and this might be discouraging and I'm sorry, but like, I feel like I was not good at that. And it took me so long and so much like hand wringing and fucking pulling my hair out to get myself to like settle on a concept of like, what should the Vaporettes be about? What kind of stories will they be? Who's going to draw which one? And then actually sitting down and scripting them. I, I think they came out well, but I... I found it so painful. <laughs> I don't know if I... I don't know. I don't want to say I don't know if I should do it again. Because I really like the end results. But boy, was it hard. Boy, I really struggled with it. Uh, and that was a lot of the... That was a big part of the reason why it took so long for the comic to get done. Uh, yeah. was because, I didn't, because I didn't have them done before the Kickstarter because I wanted to wait for the stretch goals to be met before I committed to them. Yeah, I feel like, <sighs> I mean, I think the what my stories are going to be about, I think I'm going to call them ghost stories just because it's a lot of ghosts. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's it's easier because yours are like character things about Vincent and Magda. Yeah. And they go to highs, uh, they go to college. Yeah. And... We don't even know what they major in, I don't think. But we know Magda no, draws. Neither do they. Uh, and it's like, it's the only thing you can write is like interactions they have, things <sighs> from their life. Yeah. You know, like what, character story building. I, yeah. With what I have is like, I've got a, an established world. You got a world. bunch of wacky shit. <laughs> yeah, I could have. I I was thinking of having like a story just about the bricky brawlers and the and the mutton shunters, just fighting, just a couple of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the. Yeah, that's the um, 
like actually writing the dialogue was not that hard, but settling settling on and committing to uh, okay, I should m- write a vaporette script where this happens. This is the concept that I want to make. I was like, I was just really bad at that of thinking of them and of committing to them, yeah. which was like the hardest part <laughs> for me. Um, yeah, maybe it would be easier for you because your setting is more diverse i guess uh yeah. there's, there's more I, like I, shit. I think i think i could come up with some simple ideas i I just i worry that yeah. the ideas i come up with would be too long like because i yeah. mean lore of ghosts <clears throat> was not supposed to be almost 100 pages long and yet there it mm. is uh well yeah well i mean maybe if you maybe if you're coming up with ideas you know you 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 know you come up with maybe a list and then you go through you pick out your favorites and then you write them, you script them, and then you just see like, okay, this one was too long, so I'll do it later. Or this one didn't come out as good as I as I thought, so I'll you know I just won't do that one. Just I don't know, just just pick the ones that are the right size. And I know that means that like work might end up getting left on the cutting room floor because some might not pan out or yeah. whatever. I don't know. Nah. I think I feel like that. Ultimately, the, the, the issues that will come from this Kickstarter idea, they're not that big. I am just, like, worried that mm. I will I will make a huge mistake or, like, like, sending the packages. Like, oh, that's scary. I've not done that before. Sending the packages I- uh, sucks and it takes forever. And I was still doing it, like, months after. <laughs> because people were late with their with their surveys and you know and that's just stuff you gotta accept is gonna happen uh it was whatever i mean i had i had all the stuff like i bought a whole bunch of like the envelopes and and stamps and shit so like i was ready to go but it meant like you know a week would go by and then i would check and there'd be a few more uh, uh, surveys filled out, and like, oh, I gotta make another trip to the post office. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and I mean, you were asking me about international shipping before, and like, boy, international shipping can get expensive. And I assume that, m- I mean, we probably have a similar demographic that reads our stuff. And most right. people that I was fulfilling were in America. So probably it would be the same for you. So probably those would all become international shipping, which is unfortunate. It's uh, unfortunate. Uh, I forget. Yeah. In in Kickstarter, do you like, does the person buying put their location and then the shipping gets added on to their price? Is that you... what happens? Or do I have to set uh... the price of the the goals or like the thing to you accommodate have for to shipping it it's it's per tier so like you can if two different tiers have different rewards you can set different shipping for each tier and then for each tier you can you can specify like a general shipping amount but you can also specify like by country like you can say like okay and i do this for vapors you can say like okay in the United States, no shipping. Mexico or Canada, two dollars. Everywhere else, five dollars. Like you, you can specify. And yeah, I, I assume they have to specify their country when they pledge. I think I think it works like that. Okay. Yeah. So I was, <clears throat> I was doing some calculations. I think something like fifteen pounds, maybe a little less, would be like the price of the comic. Uh, physical, yeah. and then I would have mm-hmm. I would make I would I would get a pin made of like the little ghost that's on the cover with yeah. the like badly drawn little ghost that, that I think that yeah. would be a cute pin. Um, I'd wear that. Uh, then there's like I don't know rewards. Like I, I don't know whether I could draw little doodles as good as the ones you made for like the personalized vapors too. Those were I, really good. <laughs> I put like way too much effort into those. <laughs> they were, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I 
but um, th- but I mean, I charged a lot. Like my my like signed and drawing tier was like pretty expensive. So I I kind of felt like I should put some I should put energy into these, and I did. I mean, you could always do like a a more moderate one that really is like just a doodle. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess I could do a little doodle. Like I I could have a signed version and then a doodle version with a sign. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I've I've thought about it. I've thought about things. I think it's not even that far off from being real. I just <sighs> need to like yep. make the PDF and uh and write some of the the guest art things and see what happens. Make the think of stretch goals. I have no idea what I'm going to do for stretch goals other than dick guest artists. Uh <sighs> You had some yeah. funny ones. Yeah. Uh Oh, well, yeah, once I hit, I ha- I had a bunch in mind, and then once they all got hit, because, because like, I I planned my tiers pretty much, um, like, I, I set the prices pretty low, so that, like, what I was, what I was asking for a tier was not much more than what it was going to cost, so, like, hitting another tier didn't really increase my profit much. All, like, most of the extra money just went back into, you know, adding the thing, right? So they were all pretty close together. You know, hit, you know guest artist, guest artist, guest artist. Um, and, yeah, so we hit all, all the stretch goals I had in mind. We hit them pretty fast because I set the prices for really low, and then I was like, well, uh, and I just made shit up <laughs> made funny shit up and uh i don't know just made a joke out of it made it the uh, kind of kind of in a failure of branding i made the stretch goals for vapors 2 related to uh oh, slime and punishment yeah which i guess is fine but it's a, a weird decision in hindsight but i don't know i thought it was well, funny it was the thing you were <laughs> and it became canon time. and yeah yeah yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, true. Uh, oh uh, god, it makes me so upset. Oh god, it makes me so upset to think about that because that was like a year and a half ago. It's a long that time. was like a year and a half ago, and I was drawing Simon Punishment then. God, no! <laughs> Why? Why did it take me so long? Why did it take me so long to make the video and then to make the game? I'm gonna freak uh, out. <laughs> I mean, it's oh, the video over. you mean My the animation, life is right? Over. Yeah, the animation. Uh, I mean, that, there no. was a lot of stuff on everybody's mind in 2020. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, things true. take time, I guess. Being not focused I, enough on on I, work is potentially I think a it's problem. A, I think it's a healthy mixture of external stresses and personal. And professional failures on my part. It's a nice, good, <laughs> healthy mix of both of those things. Oh, uh, what a disaster. God. I still... It's so it's so weird to me to think that it was a year and a half ago that I was drawing Slime and Punishment. It's, to me, it still feels like the thing that I'm drawing. And it kind of is because I have more of it left to do to come out for the finale. God, I... I gotta fucking, I gotta fucking all, get it done. I just, yeah. I want it done so bad. I need all the more it to reason be over. To, yeah. to focus on that and to stop yeah. yigging. To stop yig posting. Stop yigging. Stop yigging. Stop noiting. Um, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I know. Every second, every second I spend thinking about yig is, is probably wasted. Um, but I don't know. Everyone needs a no, hobby. No, you do right? know. No, everyone no. needs a your, hobby. Y- your hobby can be noiter. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <sighs> uh, oh, I could, I could, I guess I could try to make the punk plush a really high stretch goal. I guess the only problem with that is how do I, how do people get it? Like, that, do I make that's... a tier? Do I change the tiers later? Like, and if we get the pump thing, you get this. You you, get you can you can add a new tier uh, later. You can't change an existing tier once the once the the project is launched, but you can add a new one. Right. 
So if I so hit you the could pump do that. plush stretch goal, yes. um, I could add the pump plush as well tier, and then they could yes. get that in there. Then the shipping would be way more, because it's, it's, not, it's not a letter, yeah. it's a package. Yeah. I mean, people would have to people would have to change their tier to the plush tier, and that would have to come with a you know, an increased shipping cost. I mean, I think that's just, that's that's just the reality of the situation. Um, yeah, but that's that's what I said. Is the the reason the plush one didn't work out is because there was no like lower. It was a very high a uh, 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 What's the word? Floor. A very high uh, f- barrier to entry. There was no like like more moderate yeah. like ten or fifteen dollar reward. It was I, just like like fifty bucks and up, right? I think I had some some shitty like low things where it's like, oh, I'll uh uh, it's a thank you like a tip jar for five dollars. You won't get anything, but thanks. And then ten was like, oh, I'll give you a doodle. <laughs> like, no, I, I think terrible. I think that the plush as like a higher tier reward, yes, yeah, a stretch goal and then a higher tier reward to go along with something that is more modestly priced like a comic book. I think that would work out really well. Yeah. It's it's similar in that is Punk is not related to Lord of Ghosts, uh but hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could make a Lord of Ghosts plush. I uh, he'd make he'd make a nice little I mean, I, I guess th- I guess that's a lot. I guess that's a lot of work <laughs> to um, just throw around so casually. He would he would make a nice plush though. He he would. I hmm. I think that the only problem with that is that uh, I'd have to contact the company. They'd have to approve. Well, they they wouldn't have to approve the design. They'll just say, okay, we'll make this, and it'll take like mm-hmm. a month. They'll send me a sample. And then only then mm-hmm. would I have something to show people what they would be purchasing. And before then, yeah. you know, I don't know whether it would be even worth getting hype about. But I know what the pump plush would look like. Because mm. I already have mm. one. Um, potential. There's potential in that. I mean, Dude, I'd what buy if one. Little, little load of ghosts with his eyes. And he's squishy. Yeah. There's all, all his little eyes. His little arms, his little dangly arms. I can just imagine like holding him, holding him like a little turd and just like twisting <laughs> him around and making his and making his arms just kind of like flap. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Like, his uh, arms like flapping, flapping about. hither and thither, twisting around like, like he's doing the twist. <laughs> Hell yeah. I can see it. I can see it in my mind's eye. Hmm. I could, you could uh, have like a. Yeah. You could maybe have like a little sheet that goes over him. I don't know whether that would be oh, something I could ask my them god. to make. Oh my god, that would be so cute. <laughs> That'd be so <laughs> cute. That's almost too much to bear. But yeah, you could you know, do honestly, that. Honestly, honestly, it wouldn't be that hard to like get some white cloth and make sheets myself. But that's just make them yourself. Us. Yeah, and then like I mean, because them. I mean, that's sort of the point of it is that it's kind of like a shitty homemade he just fucking threw a sheet over him yeah you could you could just like cut oh that could be like premium like it could be like the premium tier is he comes is he comes with the cloth that you just like cut out of a thing and drew some eyes on (laughs) Ah. oh it's it's a cool idea uh, like the cool lord of ghosts where he has the sunglasses it's oh yeah I don't know. I don't oh, know yeah. whether I'd be able to like make sunglasses, or, or like yeah. buy a bunch of sunglasses to add on to that. That's a bit much. People can do what they like well, with it, but <laughs> yeah, it's a cool yeah. idea. Um, it's it's, it's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Any okay? Anything else to say about that? I have one more thing on my list. Of going no, on I, before I we don't move. think there's anything more else to say. I think it's just uh yeah. I I gotta figure out the money so that I know how high to put the that's, things. That's and just be expect expect things to cost more than you think. Oh, of course. In in particular shipping. Shipping was re- 
I, like I knew how much the the comics were going to cost because they gave me a quote about that. So that wasn't so bad. But the shipping all ended up costing more than I thought. International shipping was always more than I expected it to be. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Just be like the the worst possible thing. The worst possible thing that can happen with a Kickstarter is not that it fails. It's that it succeeds, but you realize that you fucked it up and you asked <laughs> yes. for less than you needed and you're in the red now. Yeah. God. I mean, the idea of getting the punk plush real or the Lord of Ghosts plush. Yeah. Um, it's really cool. But yeah. the logistics of like ordering that, having it arrive and then having to get it to where I live alone mm. is a lot and there's probably going to be customs mm. charges that I'm going to have to pay for such a large shipment yeah. of plushes and then I'm going to have to package them maybe individually like buy a, some some amount of boxes mm -hmm. maybe I could make save save on like uh shipping by like holding the comics back for until the the plushes there for the people who got the plush and then I could send them together that would be okay, but maybe, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. You gotta, you gotta save. You gotta find every every way to save on costs with things like that, that you possibly can. Yeah, definitely send it all as one package. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Blimey, such a mm. such a prospect. I I don't envy myself <laughs> for 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 doing that in the future. Mm. Mm, future Gib is fucked. <laughs> Sad. Future Future Gib uh, is fucked only if she she wins at at the Kickstarter game. I'm so scared. I'm I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to, for this <laughs> for this massive endeavor of making money with art that I made. It can't be done. No, is is anybody ever really prepared? It's like no. becoming a parent. You just gotta you just gotta do it. Just like having a baby. The thing about it is that you're just you just have to do it. You're forced to do it. Gun to your head, you don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you must. No one's ever ready, but you gotta do it anyway. You know, that's uh, the perfect analogy. I'm gonna yeah. send out all these little babies, all these little Lord of Ghosts. <laughs> Based. Um, all right. That yeah. that's that's something to look into. Okay, I, I should write down. I'm just gonna write down like a list of things to to look into, and then you can talk about your thing. My my last thing that I want to complain about is um this week I have been I have been eating a lot, and even worse I've been door dashing a lot. I've been ordering a lot of takeout, uh Chinese pizza, chicken, bro keto, whatever. Uh -oh. My excuse, I know it's bad. That's how you know it's bad. My excuse is that I've started lifting again, which is good. It feels good. Uh, I'm strong now, uh, and I'm only getting stronger. Uh, I'm gonna. It's gonna be really annoying when I have to move and I'm gonna like lose access to my exercise equipment, and I will then have to buy some more and set it up and for a while I won't be able to lift. I'll have to break my streak. But, you know, what what are you going to do? Um Oh, it's going to be right. It's going to be right as I'm getting into the swing of it too. I'll be a couple months in and then oh, fuck, I don't I don't even want to think about it. Um I don't know. So I'm getting fat, but I'm also getting strong. So <laughs> it's a it's nah. a wash. It's all, it sounds like it sounds like good. just the one no, oh, which oh, which one? Ooh, which one does she mean, though? <laughs> <laughs> if you're ah. getting all of that fast food in you, you're not going to be very fast it's, for very long. It's it's good for you. Chicken, I get I, a lot. I get a lot chicken's of fried chicken. Good. Chicken's chicken's good for. Well, you. I don't know if fried, but yeah, it's the it's the abundance ah, of oils and stuff. Oils and, and good. fats. Oils good. It's keto. The pe the pizza was indulgent. I was just feeling like cheating. I was like, fuck it, I'm getting a pizza. And then I did. I had a good pizza the other day. It was, yeah. I, Ow, I, oh, I, I bit my I, tongue. I, fuck. I went on on Just Ow. Eat. Because I wanted to just eat. And I, 
there's all these like <laughs> yeah. restaurants nearby, n- uh, restaurants nearby that are like oh thousands upon thousands of of upvotes, five stars. Everyone loves this one. And I was like, okay, well I've had that one. Let's see this other one that's got like ninety uh, upvotes and it's also like five stars. It's a much smaller looking, much less professional photography for their food. I was like, yeah, it's Italian. Like, it, it seems more traditional. I got it, and it was the best pizza ever. So that's real Italian. Wow. I found a real Italian place. That's fascinating. Um, it's always nice when you when when you look bullshit. for the you look for the stuff that nobody pays attention to, and you you it's something in your gut that feels like yes, this is the real shit. The popular stuff is always bad. Hmm. You gotta go into the back streets and mm-hmm. in the into the back alleys where the locals get their food. Uh, um, except uh, it, it's it's like fast food in in London. So I don't know, dude. I just I just buy wings. I just buy wings over. I just buy wings over because they got good sauce, and they're not Wingstop, which is criminally bad. Uh, Wingstop is the worst fucking place I've ever eaten. It's so bad. I can't believe it's legal. I can't believe it's legal that they serve the food that they do. It's a nightmare. I just, I don't know. I just buy a, I buy a fucking tendies. And you know what? They, they're rewarding me. They're giving me that Pavlovian. Uh, they give me that Skinner box treatment because sometimes I'll order from them and they'll just give me extra. And then I'm like, oh my God, the value. They <laughs> doubled my order one time. I ordered six tendies and they gave me 12 tendies. I was eating it for, I was eating it the next day. It was crazy. One time I ordered and they just gave me my order plus somebody else's order. <laughs> I feel like that might be a mistake and not a value. For I see. I see two possibilities. One is that it was a mistake and they just gave me someone else's order and that other person was fucked. The other one was maybe that that order got canceled and they were just like, well, let's just give this other person's order to that other guy because he's our he's our beloved customer and he deserves it. I hope it was the second one. <laughs> I, they definitely had that conversation as well. I mean, it's our beloved yeah. customer, Ben Saint. It's our beloved the tendy it's, guy. It's, it's the tendy guy. It's the tendy guy from such and such a road. Oh, we love that guy. Oh, have you read his comics? Like, oh, yeah, he's very talented. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a great, great taste in sauce, too. He always gets the hot garlic. Oh, it's my favorite. Mwah. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just I don't know. When I'm when I'm lifting, I'm just like, got to eat big to get big. And it's more important to build muscle than it is to fucking keep my calories down. And I got to eat the calories to do that. So fuck it. And I don't know. It's fine. It's good. Uh, It doesn't really matter. Uh, It's it's more it's more of a good that I'm lifting again than it is a bad that I'm eating a little too much you know so fuck it yeah i can cut i can cut i can cut later i mean i i should i'm gonna dial it back a little bit it was i had a fucking a week i had a week of of hedonistic uh uh, uh gluttony <laughs> but like i can't i'm not gonna keep that up because it's stupid and like i still yeah. want to be keto uh, and whatever i've uh i've had a little issues lately with with cooking it's like mm-hmm. I want to cook. I want to cook for myself because it's cheaper, mostly, and it's just as tasty, if not tastier, than like the slop. Well, in in terms of money, right? You you buy some some fucking chicken breasts from the store, and you just fry them. And it was I I did that the other day. I got some chicken breasts. I put flour on them, some corn flour, salt and pepper, and I just put them on the frying pan for ages. And I took them off, and I was like, "Wow, it's cooked." I did it, and I ate it, and it was nice. really good. Um, and that cost like so much less than it would have if I had ordered chicken from someplace. Wait, did but, you say corn flour? Yeah, it was just what I had. They they said like mm. you could use uh, all really just to put a coating on there. Um, oh, before sure. You put it on sure. the the frying pan. Yeah, um, I guess so. I guess it, it wasn't like a, like a deep fried chicken nugget sort of thing. It was just sort of some some stuff on it. I put some pan, basil pan fried and oregano. Yeah, sure. Pan fried yeah, chicken. Sure. That was really yeah, really nice. 
You ever, um, you ever but, deep fry? Uh, no, I don't. I guess I have a saucepan, so I could. Um, deep frying is cool, that, that but it takes oil. so much grease. It takes so much grease. You yeah. can save the grease, you know. You can you can use it over and over again. Save it where? In the saucepan or in like yeah, a Yeah, well, container? I mean, you can, you buy it in bottles. You can just like pour the, gr- the, the oil into the pan, heat it up, cook in it. And then, like, let it cool, and then pour it back in the bottle, put the cap on, and use it again later. Hmm. I hadn't thought of it's that. It's pretty cool. I mean, what else? I mean, what else do you do? Like, pour it down the sink? Like, that's such a waste. I suppose so. Uh, but yeah, the, mm. I've I've been having trouble just because of like illness stuff, which is still happening, unfortunately. Um, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm leaving things unwashed like i'm not washing up after myself as much like your and ass not, uh, 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 <laughs> and and i'm i'm like not cooking as many meals sometimes i like only have dinner i don't have lunch i sort of mm. have breakfast and then i have a a, a liner or some mm-hmm. whatever and it's it's good but it's not good enough i'm not getting enough <sighs> nutrients and so I end up ordering food, and it's like, uh, it sucks. I don't like being in this situation where I'm not, like, the perfect chef, or I'm not cooking meals, uh, three meals a day. It's like, it's a lot of work. I don't like filling that gap. I don't like filling that gap with fast food, because it's, it's just so expensive. It's so convenient, yeah. though. I love that that, like, concept is, is, is you know... It has improved our lives, uh, humanity, so much that if you are hungry and you have a phone with money, you can get food delivered right to your door immediately, like in like an hour, and you could survive. I I'm I'm glad that I have generally made a habit of um, buying groceries instead of ordering out. Uh, Ordering out is such a fucking waste. It's cool that it's a it's a it's an option. Yeah, but, but it is it bad. is just so, like, uh, like I, I don't know. I guess there's nothing really to say other than I wish I was cooking more. Um, but yeah. I, it's difficult. It's difficult when I only have yeah. one frying pan. I have to clean it after every single time. Oh yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh god, when I, when I move, I'm gonna have to. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fucking get new kitchenware. I'm gonna have to get new pans and spatulas and shit oh my god oh this sucks did i talk about how i have to move soon did i mention you, that last you week? did mention that well i think so last week yeah oh it's it sucks i haven't even have you i haven't even looked? started looking i have not even started looking for like a new place i don't i think i'm a little in denial i don't want to deal with it you gotta i don't do want to deal then. with it I don't want to deal with it, and I don't want to know what my rent is going to be. It's going to be so bad. Just just it's assume gonna it's so going to be bad. like $4 billion a month. It is going to be. It's going to be like double. It's going to be like double what I pay now. I know. I know it. <laughs> well, you should rip the Band-Aid off. Look around. Like, the longer you... Like, th- there could have been a good deal that you already missed because you haven't been looking. Oh my god, yeah, I, I, I get you gotta, it. You no, gotta be doing the... it. Sure, yeah, I know, I know you're right. Oh, look at me, I'm Gib, the Ben, why don't you just do the smart thing instead of the <laughs> stupid thing? Pat yourself, pat yourself on the back. You I am, fucking I got it, you did it, congratulations. Oh, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired of this, this world. These people, I'm tired of being caught in the tangle of their lives. Um, You're oof. tangled up in your own life. Tangled is a good movie, though. That's okay. Like that part where the guy has got all the swords pointed at him, and he's like, hmm. hmm this is going to be a meme one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could tell. He knew. <laughs> he knew. Uh, Finn? Flynn. 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 Do you want to do voicemails? Uh, yeah. I that Lord of Ghost thing was the last thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, yeah. so yeah, I'm I'm good. I've got I've gone through my list. 
All right, well, let's let's get into it. Are you on the SpeakPipe? Are you on SpeakPipe.com slash PCP voicemail where you, listener, can send us a voicemail where we will answer, but only if it's good and you have something to say and you have charisma and are cool and, and don't waste our time, please. And thank yes, you. Yes, I am. Hey, uh, yes. Okay, good. Then our first voicemail of the day is called She, Her, Please, Smiley Face. Okay. Three, two, one, go. So I've been rewatching Sim Figure because I finally wanted to catch up on the later seasons, and I just Wait, remember how much what? I used to be into this show. Sim Figure. I used to like hang out in the discords, participate in community rewatch events and stuff, and that shit's all gone now. Those what? people that Discord's dead. Like I'm never, I'm never interacting with them again, and like. Like, maybe I'm tripping on my medication or whatever, but I got really emotional, and the the transience of everything just suddenly came and, like, hit me. Just wanted to say, like, <laughs> Gib, Ben, Tom, uh-huh. Jesse, Nate, yeah. Munchie, yeah. Mage, uh, Davu, yeah. Davu, and even, like, yeah, Trixie. Yeah, there it is. Like, even Trixie. And everybody listening, like, I'm glad this all happened. You know. God, You're really fucking tripping. having a <laughs> moment. Uh, yeah, but like <laughs> I'm glad this all happened. I'm totally tripping. That's what's happening. Get over <laughs> it. <laughs> I can't Don't tell be sad it happened. Be I sad can't... it's continuing. I can't tell if that was a joke or not. <laughs> I t- I, I don't I, know what the, they were talking about uh, at first with whatever community they were wait, in. Wait, wait. I, I guess they're... I want to listen to the. I want to hear the beginning again. I'm just play it again. Uh, why does it take so long to? Synth Synth gear. I've been rewatching. I, I, I think it's just some thing that... they're into, whatever. and they've noticed that the community is dead and the thing is dead, and they're thinking about that happening to the PCP, maybe. Uh, whatever. I don't know. Life, life has changed. Uh, sorry, you're having a emotional moment over it. Uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I appreciate the sincerity. Uh, don't. It's fine. It's. I don't know. I'm glad you liked stuff. Uh, <laughs> I feel a little bad. I shouldn't shit on this person, but it's so easy. Um, I don't know. I guess that's all I have to say about it. Yeah. Next, next voice, next voicemail. Thanks, thank you. Uh, we love you. Uh, next one is called "Is Riley Trixie's Pimp or Something?" <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Hey guys, so I just want to say congratulations on finally getting the Radcon content. You know, like, you know, real big shout out to that one yes. guy who talked to Riley about it, and that's why it happened. Not fucking talking to Trixie directly like everyone's been doing for that was, um, and trying to get this fucking Radcon stuff. No, no, we got to talk to Riley, yeah. who, this person who fucking was never involved, and when he tried to get involved... She'll only do it if Riley tells her place. to. She'll only do but, it if know, Riley fucking, tells her thanks to. Thanks for Riley for being so fucking benevolent to uh, fucking tell Trixie to do her fucking job for yeah. once. What a, what know, a base how fucking dude. gracious of what a, him. what a cool guy it's like oh well you know she doesn't want to do anything <laughs> for her ex friends and it's like well fucking it's not about fucking any of these guys it's about the fucking people who paid hundreds of fucking dollars to get this shit you know fucking i am just so sick of their fucking little attitude man like why the fuck mm. does riley feel the fucking need to like talk on her behalf all the time like just shut the fuck up riley shut the fuck up because nobody fucking cares <laughs> Anyway, PCP forever. Tom will yeah. never die. Call me back. How do we call him back? I couldn't. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. And I appreciate. Thanks. Thanks for speaking truth to power. Thanks for speaking truth to power, friend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's for me. I, it's I, always. I, it's I just always agree. Been about like the the like the money. The backers spent so much money. We owe it to them to try to get everything that was promised out. And Trixie's just made it difficult yeah. for no discernible yeah. reason. 
I mean, yeah, I guess I mean, you could even something. I, the the whole the whole debate about like, oh, I didn't promise the lecture. Oh, I didn't technically promise the lecture. Is like such a it's missing the point. The point is that these people cared and they donated and they want something, and we have the opportunity to give them value to to reward them for their support. And you know, promise or not, Trixie is like nah, and it's despicable. It's the only word for it. Whoops, sorry, I got a little upset there. Uh, haha. <laughs> funny, funny voice. You're, you're allowed to get mail. upset. It's it's just about upset. the the all of the the like continued just the disdain watching of their just, movements. Just, just the watching narciss- of their movements and then commenting disdain. under their their stuff because it just riles you up. Just the sheer, just the sheer entitlement of like, ah, fuck you thinking I should do anything just because you cared about my project and supported it and and pledged to it. Now, fuck you. Like, how how dare you expect anything in yeah. return? Disgusting. Um, <laughs> next voicemail. Uh, Levy with no Jevy. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Minor spoiler. For us, Cyclonials. Y'all, please talk about Cyclonials and the ending and what you chose because you haven't really talked about it. And talk about how Abby is an amazing character and I love her because she's an enabler of Zen's bad behavior, uh, self described, oh. and as well as a savior from it. Now that's cool. And uh, Tommy, if you're there, Infinity Train season four, speak. <laughs> I. Uh, you know what? I didn't I, do I, that I've dropped... uh, Psycholonials thing. Yeah, I, I've dropped the ball because I said that I would let you know when I reread it. And and I want, I I honestly really want to do it. I really want to reread it and I want to record a Psycholonials cast. And I, I just haven't done it. So it's on me. Um, I, uh... I probably need to reread it at this point because it's been a while. I I mean I do love Abby and and you know what it's it's really cool if I if I if I remember correctly I think I what did I do at the end There's the two choices I rem- right? I, rem- I remember what I did at the end Do you want I did I, I forget yeah. what the choices were but I know whichever one I pressed I pressed that every single time Yeah same and it was and it was uh it was crown obviously wait no which is fuck I, shit, I forget which is which. There was dagger. Which is... There was dagger is the sword, sword of Dan sword he's hanging crown. over you. Like, oh, you you may never um uh you you'll always have the dagger hanging over you, knowing that you could have been great and you could have done all this yeah. stuff. I clicked the dagger over and over again. I cl- I did and, and I did the, crown. I did crown, crown over and over is, again. Yeah. I did crown times five. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> it was it was really cool knowing like afterwards where. You know, that's the 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 first real point where you can choose, and then the ending of the game happens. The credits roll, and you go to the save screen so you can like load up your save and try the different things. And it's yeah. a completely different thing. Yeah, and it's like the epilogue. Like they deleted your save files. Actually, you can't just go back and do it again, motherfucker. Yeah, that was cool. But it but it tells you like it wouldn't have changed anything. It like it, yeah. you don't you don't feel like, oh shit! I want to find all the all the different routes. It's like the routes are, they all lead to the same place. Don't worry, we deleted your save. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I, it's good. It was it's well handled. Um, yeah, no crown. I, you know what? I don't want to get too deep into it because I do want to do the Psycholonials cast. So I won't explain my reasoning on when we do the Psycholonials cast. I will explain why. I did crown five and you can explain why you did sword five. Yeah. Uh, hell yeah. Do I have time? I will, I will try and I will try and and squeeze out some time soon to do that. Cause it's not long. It takes like, you could probably reread it in like four hours. Um, Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. Was that, was that Levy Jevy that made it? I don't, it didn't sound like him. He didn't, it didn't sound like him. So He's I don't got a know what pitch voice. Yeah, I don't think that was him. I wonder why the it's named after him. But it must shout be shout outs to Levy Jevy. Yeah, some some endless warhead. Maybe. 
Dude, uh, endless warhead, like a bomb. Like candy. Oh. Uh sure. <laughs> next next voicemail. Uh there's three voicemails that are called one, two, three. So okay, one in three, two, one, go. Hey, does it just me or does the guy at four minutes ten seconds of the new Scott the Waz video look like Nate? I'm a still confirm. <laughs> yeah. Uh I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, um, let me go check Scott the Waz. The new Scott the Waz, four minutes and ten seconds in. But keep in mind, this would have been the new one as of uh, four days ago. Okay, let me check. Can you Six screenshot him ago. for me? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, four minutes, ten seconds. Da da da. No, no, it fucking doesn't. Screen screenshot him. Uh oh. Um. Okay, it's just got the he's just got the Gurren Lagan shades on. Uh. Is that oh. the boundary break guy? God, I hate that guy. Oh. I mean, I don't hate that guy, but it, his content annoys me, or at least it used to. Who's who's Scott? No, 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 boundary break. Uh, it, I've never heard of him. Uh, yeah, it's. He does these videos where um This guy does not look like Nate. Absolutely no. no, I don't see it at all. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Uh, he does th these videos where he goes beyond the camera in video games, like oh he'll he'll like move the camera to places where it was impossible to see, and then you can see like, oh, this is how the background is and this is uh how like it looks from this angle that is impossible to get to. Oh, isn't that interesting? The way he utilizes this incredible, cool technology is terribly, terribly lacking. And I'm so frustrated every time I see any of those things. I'm like, oh, I, I want to know what is, in you know, the boundary breaking of, of this place, of this game. Oh, it's it just leaves me upset that this video exists more so mm. than like if I never knew. Because now I just want the technology. I don't care about his YouTube channel at all. Oh, I don't know wait. If this is the guy. So, I, th I think I know. I think I've seen one or two of those. The ones that just kind of show the game from like angles that you can't see it from regularly. Yeah. It's right? just, it, I've it, seen it just one of those feels... about, about Simpsons fucking Road Rage. I think. I think. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I've only seen a few, uh, but like, it's, it would just, it would just, Annoyed me. This Still guy. Feel, it gives me that Arlo feeling, where I feel like Arlo could be so much more than he is with mm. his puppet, but he's just a mm. guy talking. He's just a gamer talking about video games in a very dry, normal way. But he's got a funny mm. puppet, and he's not funny. He's not a funny person. He's that not sucks. particularly funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's missed it's missed opportunities, lacking uh, lost potential. That's what annoys me. Um, the, Oliver's fine as a person. I don't this, mind him. This guy does not look like Nate, but some people recently were posting around pictures from a, a, a Wired video called Mortician Answers Dead Body Questions from Twitter. <laughs> I, th I think I saw that. And and people posted screenshots, and I checked out the video. People were saying, this guy looks like Nate, and I honest, I, I completely see it. Yeah, this guy looks... A, uh, like Not exactly, but this guy looks a lot like Nate. I'm posting the, the screenshot. Wow, okay. why is it why is it taking so long to upload? Jesus Christ! It's only half a half a megabyte. You fucking you fucking bitch. Processing. There we go. <laughs> it, it's it looks it's a like lot if, like, if, if like it's like if 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 Nate and Doctor Wolf fused, <laughs> and, he, and he gained if, the waistcoat. Yeah, he's got he's kind of got like the haircut. His his lips are maybe a little different, but he's kind of got like the face shape and the cut. And, you know, he does not wear in the sunglasses, but yeah, there it's, it's a little like, I totally see it. Yeah. Um, it's an interesting just in case video people, too. I, I watched it. Just in case yeah. people aren't aware, cause we never talk about it, but, um, we have show notes where you can see the images if they're not on screen. Um, Oh, that's right. I hope Eliazar still does those. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, I, I always never forget watched the PCP. I have no idea. But if you wanted to know, I mean, I would, I would hope, for, if it's just an image, I would hope that Eliazar shows it on screen. But if it's something like a link, 
then yeah, sh show notes should be in the description at the timestamp that we talk about the thing. Uh, yeah, right. For an image, we should just show it, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Um. Okay. All the maybe I don't know. Fucking in the show notes, maybe put the link to the video. But I mean, I said what it is. You can just Google "mortician answers dead body questions" from Twitter. There's only one. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Right. Uh, next enough. one. Yeah. Next. Next one is two, three, two, one, go. Okay. Uh, so I continue watching the video, and the, the guy in the bottom corner, four minutes thirty sec, seven seconds, look like monkey to anyone. <sighs> All right, let me check. What is? Oh, oh my god! 40, me, wait, what did me, he me, say? Forty-seven show me, seconds. Show, me show. I thought he said four minutes and thirty seconds. Let me let me listen again. It, he kind of slurs words? it. It's like I think he says like four minutes thirty sec. Okay, so I minutes. think he's saying four minutes thirty seconds. Guy in the bottom corner. Oh, uh, oh, four minutes thirty six seconds. I don't see any monkey. Oh, and forty seven yeah. seconds is a different group of people. Also, none look like monkey. What is? This? Why is this guy like live watching Scott the Wars and making voice <laughs> about it? I don't know. Okay, you want to do the next one? Yeah. Okay, next one is called three, three, two, one, go. Okay, so like. I kept watching, and I'm stuck the guy at four minutes and fifty seconds for Quentin reviews. <laughs> it looks really like Quentin reviews is fucked up. Four minutes fifty. That's seconds. so fucked up, dude. That's so messed Wait. up. I can't believe this shit. Stupid. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, yeah, the Quentin reviews is in this... there. Oh, is it just actually Quentin? Yeah, I think so. But it wasn't at 450, it was at 448. <laughs> oh dear. Well, you fucked up. Okay, cool. Whatever. Next voicemail is called Battle Pass. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I kept watching again, and the guy met guy at four minutes and fifty six seconds looks kinda like Ben. <laughs> Are you okay? Four minutes fifty six seconds. Here we go. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> you know? Worst did hairline. It? Did he get one? Worst hairline, but I mean, you Wor be the judge. Show me. Show me. Show me. Let me see what a worse hairline than mine looks like. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he's doing. I, I, yeah, I do. I do kind of see it a little bit. A little bit. He kind of looks like um Nathan Fielder. A little bit, but like. Oh, yeah. This guy's, well... this guy's hair is. This guy's hair, hair is bad. This guy's doing That's something unfair. wrong with it. It's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, Lamal. Okay, whatever. Next voicemail is called Jeunesse. It's Jeunesse. Okay, three, two, one, go. Hey, Ben Zane. I'm in the middle of grinding out my art skills, and I want to That's hear me. about how you leveled up your art so that you could live off your webcomics. How do you do it, Ben? Um,. I, oh god, I, you know it's been so long since I even gave a fuck um, <laughs> about living, <laughs> about art or living. Um, I leveled up my. I, mean, I I used to be like kind of. I'll tell you exactly what I did. I I watched a bunch of tutorials. I used to watch a bunch of Psychra tutorials. I watched a bunch of those, and then I would try and like follow along. I. I looked up like fundamental exercises, like drawing lots of circles, drawing lots of straight lines. I did that for a while, um, not for that long. Mostly, I I just um, wait. Uh, okay, psychra psychra tutorials, fundamental exercises. Uh, there was more. Um, uh, oh, Loomis, the the Loomis books are so good. Uh, drawing the head and hands. Uh, figure drawing for all it's worth. Um, uh. Uh, what there's there's another one that I read. Uh, I don't know. All the Loomis books are really good. That guy's super good. 
read Loomis if you haven't. Like, absolutely read Loomis and follow along. I, I, I think it was figure drawing for all it's worth. Like, I, I followed along and I did all like the exercises that he was talking about, like draw, like copying the the like, you know, the figure of a human off his like, you know, six, six heads tall figure in the fucking like Leonardo da Vinci, like guy spread eagle diagram. Um, that was very tedious, but I got a lot out of that book. Um, and then the, the, I did all that shit and I would, I would draw them and then I would draw like characters faces. I would draw characters portraits, you know, just fuck around, fuck or try it with watercolor, try it with ink, try it in pencil, try it in whatever, uh, try it digitally. And then, you know, do all that, practice it in various mediums just to see what happens. And then finally, I think the real the 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 apotheosis of my journey of my art journey was when I f- was just like I'm just gonna draw a comic I'm just gonna draw the vapors and it doesn't matter if I'm not good enough I'm just gonna keep doing it over and over I'm just gonna draw the redraw the panels until they look right however long it takes. And that's what I did. And it took me like six months and uh, eventually it looked kind of good. <laughs> and I was, I think, I, that's it. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. a good mindset to like, to do it until it looks good. I always think of like, yeah, the, the big picture of, Oh, my life. Like I have to get something done by the end of the year. I it's like, I gotta do this in a certain amount of months. Cause I don't want to be doing nothing. I, I want to be doing something quickly. And then I, yeah, it just doesn't end up happening at all. No, or if I, it does get just, un, end up happening, it's like sort of rushed. I would sit down. Da- I would sit down and like kind of bl- pl- uh, uh, plot out the page. Be like, okay, panel here, panel here, panel here, and then I would just go from panel to panel, and you know, I would do a sketch, and I would just just keep erasing and resketching until the sketch looked good. And then later I came back and I saw the sketches that I had, you know, just done over and over until they looked good. And I was like, okay, time for line work. And I would just do the line work over and over again. Sometimes I would get it on the first try and I'd be like, yeah, it looks good. Other times I'd be like, that looks bad. Erase, do it over again. Just do it over again. Just do it over again. And that's, that was the most practice I got was just drawing the vapors and just not giving up until I was satisfied with how it looked. Um. Incredible. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like it worked out well for me. Maybe not everyone would have success with that method, but it it I'm just built different. I'm just built different, baby. No vaccine side effects. <laughs> Pfizer gang. <laughs> uh Pfizer gang is Pfizer is like Ravenclaw. Uh Johnson and Johnson is like Hufflepuff. Uh and the other one are like the other two. And the coronavirus is like Slytherin. The coronavirus is like Voldemort. Uh, the, uh no, corona. Uh, uh, transphobia is like is like the coronavirus it, in that it permeates everything and is is deeply and, and the vaccines in, do nothing. <laughs> yes, and then exactly. That's right. That's right. The metaphor works <laughs> even better than I expected. Next voicemail. Eleazar is a bad man. Three, two, one, go. Like Eleazar. Ha! More like Smellyazar. Yeah. Am I right, Scoob? Kill him. That's right, Raggy. Smells like shit, Raggy. (laughs) That sounds like, that's what he sounds like, right? No, uh, yeah. Er, er, I'm Scooby Doo, Raggy. I, I think Eleazar smells like shit, but I'm a dog, so I like how shit smells. So it's a compliment, Ruby Dooby. Ruby Ruby. Thanks for the voicemail, you fucking asshole. Next one is called Comics. Three, two, one, go. Hey PCP, Monotone Jones here. No yeah. relation. Ben, I know you've mentioned this in the past, and I think Gib has as well, but I was wondering if y'all could talk a bit more about how you feel like there's no point in drawing unless you're making comics. I'm curious because I'm the exact opposite. Although I have an interest in making comics, the only thing I can motivate slash find enjoyment in is simple illustrations. I don't really have a specific question Mm -hmm. about this, but I thought it would be interesting to hear a bit more about your thought process, I guess. Thanks. Also, Simsy for full-time PCP. It felt like they had been there all along when you had them on. 
Simsy's cool. Simsy's uh, cool. But no, Simsy's no, cool. no PCP ever. Never, never, never. We're gonna never. dwindle until we're zero people, and That's the show right. will go on even then. The only one left will be Craig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Um, I, I, I think, I feel like um, I have two feelings about this, and I think one is mercenary, and the other is artistic. And and they're, but both of these instincts are in agreement. My artistic feeling is that a a a comic that has a story is just and has a beginning, middle, and an end is just inherently more valuable than a just like a a a, a nice looking image. A nice looking image is transient. It like what does it mean? I don't know. It just is what it is. It looks nice. Whatever. A comic with a story is like there's just more to it. It has more. It has context. Like, what is it? Is a series of drawings, but the series of drawings mutually um, reinforce one another in that they come together to be more than the sum of their parts, and that they tell a narrative. And from a more cynical mercenary perspective, uh, you can sell a comic, and you can't. I mean, I guess you can sell a print of an illustration. If you can be an illustrator, that's. I I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I just. I don't Nikazi's know. Kazi's an illustrator. She gets work. She she gets work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, um, but I, but I don't. Reason. But I but I didn't. But I don't want to do that. Like I don't want to like have people commissioning me to like draw a character or draw a scene. I just don't. I. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm wrong. You you can just sell that. I just I just didn't want to, so I was like, I'm gonna do this other thing and sell that. Probably because I don't know, I don't know. Whatever. That's my answer. What's what's your answer? Uh, my answer is is similarly twofold. First one is that uh, much in the same way that I tr- tried to learn animation, or I did learn animation, and I was going for, to university for that. Um, I can't draw very well, but if you put a bunch of images in sequence, people don't notice. Uh, so that's true. Uh, also, a comic, a comic. You your eyes glaze over the shit panels, and then you focus on the cool ones. And yeah. in animation, you don't notice the bad frames because the cool frames they, they only last for a fraction of a second. So it's like I I like it's totally that I true. can hide I can hide my my bad uh technique through motion. Uh, that's why I like it's totally gifts. true. And animation and comics, because it's the same sort of thing. Your eyes are moving. They, there's something. There's always somewhere to be for your eyes. You're like always going to the next part, and it's a story. So you you obviously want to continually experience the narrative. You want to see what happens next. So you don't linger on anything. Um, and the other reason is, I, I find it, a uh, very satisfying to make Mm. a story that has multiple layers of of interest uh, multiple layers Mm. of intrigue for the reader uh with an image you could be saying lots of things i think if if i think of like the coolest type of image if i were to be an illustrator it would probably be like a where's wally or where's uh waldo like huge image with so many things going on um, that have you, you, you know, you've got so much to look at. Um, have you ever I, I, read Kill Six Billion Demons? The what? There's a comic called Kill Six Billion Demons. And if you like, like, Where's Waldo style, like, big, like, images of a scene with, like, lots of little shit going. Kill Six Billion Demons, it takes place in, like, the outer planes and, like, the hell and heaven and stuff. And sometimes he will, I forget what the name of the author is, but he will do big, like, huge shots that show, like, a whole landscape. And the landscape will be some, like, hell plane that's, like, made of, like, giant bones. And, like, there's, like, cutaways that, like, you can see inside of, like, the bones that have been cut in half to make, like, apartments in. And you can see into all these, like, demon apartments built inside of, like, bones that are jutting out of some, like, magma cliff. And you can see all the little, all, like, the weird, like, monsters and spirits and stuff that are all just kind of doing shit. Sort of like a Where's Waldo, where it's, like, people walking around and it's, like packed with um things it's very cool 
And it's in that kind of spirit. Uh, anyway, uh, what about it? Uh, well, yeah, I just, I like, um, when I, when I think of like, like a painting or something, yeah, the, you can look at a painting in an art gallery or, or, or like as decoration for a house and it's, <sighs> yeah. my eye glosses over it most of the time if it's like something simple, if it's really mm. nice, it's really nice. Like I, I like to put really nice images on um it doesn't have to be like a landscape or anything just like an illustration i like to put stuff like that in background things like posters on my wall desktop <laughs> wallpapers phone screen lock screen backgrounds that's what i think of illustration as being like useful for is like in the background to give um just a you know out of the corner of your eye something nice to look at but it's never really something you pay attention to or study unless it's extremely complex. Yeah. Um, and so comics are, it's just, it's so complex. There's so, it's so dense. There's so many things going on. That's why I like comics. Um, what do you, what do you think about? Kind of. That's why I like making them, I guess. Uh, not necessarily I, why I, I like reading them. There's, there's a thing Cause that I, is I kind have things of like, to, I want to communicate. That's, that's the reason. There's a thing that is kind of like both of those things combined. And, the the example that spring to mind, and I know that this didn't like invent the technique, but I remember there is one of these things in the uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, uh, like comic the the Big Mac episode. There is sort of like a Where's Waldo like big shot of like Ponyville. Oh, but yeah, I it's love also I a love comic. The arts in those comics. A lot of them have really good art. Oh, who was the there was one pair of artist and writer who was the best one. Um, Price. Andy forget. Price, I think, was the artist I really liked. But I don't think he drew the Big Mac one, although I kind of forget. But there's a big, like, panned out shot of, like, it's not all of Ponyville, but it's, like, a big chunk of Ponyville. And you see Big Mac going from, like, house to house and, like, talking to all these people and, like, having a different interaction with all these different characters and it is sort of like a big scenery shot where you see all these people doing different things, but also it's a sequential scene or a, a, telling a story of like, this is like a series of places and interactions. Like big Mac went here and he talked to this person and then he went here and he talked to this person and then he went here and he did this and he went to that store and he bought that. And then he went here and he used the thing he bought to do the thing. And then he went there and the person said, no, do this and da, 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 da. Uh, and that's pretty neat. And I like, it <laughs> uh, yeah I, I i googled the i remember reading that that was a really yeah, yeah i i know this that's just the first one that's bring i know that i'm i've seen it in other places too but yeah these they, comics are great i should have got into pretty them good. more because it's it's really like it's the sort of thing that when i was young i was i was really into the simpsons comics um and I read a lot. I of never those. had. I never read those. I, if I had, those, some of them are really good. If I, I had them had them, extremely good. If I had had access to them, if I had known anywhere that sold them, I would have been all over them. I just, I didn't know that there were Simpsons comics. Um, or like I never saw them anywhere. But it, that would have been right up my alley. Who boy? When I was like a really little kid, I made, I, I drew some comics, like you know, like garbage ones that like a fucking kindergartner would draw and i this is have I, I don't know if i've ever mentioned this but i i tried to draw a like i thought it would be cool or something to show like homer simpson like fighting all these like monsters from greek mythology <laughs> <laughs> i thought that was cool <laughs> and you know i just watched um I think it, uh, you, I've been, I fucking let au YouTube autoplay fucking videos where a guy talks about video games and I, I let it do that. And I, I started listening. I was listening to some videos. I think the guy's name is Sivy and he had a, a video about Daikatana, you know, the, the famously bad follow up to Quake, I think. Um, and the plot of Daikatana is basically you go to like, all these different places in history and you fight these mythological monsters. And all I could think about was 
I hate this. I drew this. I told this story when I was in kindergarten about Homer Simpson. (laughs) (laughs) Would that that still exist? Homer Simpson, Homer Simpson climbed the fucking Mount Olympus to fucking slay Medusa or whatever. (laughs) What? Does what exist? (laughs) No, I'm sure it doesn't exist. Uh, if it does, I'm sure it's in a fucking in a file folder in a in a box somewhere in my parents' basement. Uh, no, I've that would be so embarrassing. I hope I never see that. Uh, I want to see it. I, I don't. Love, want... I love. I love shitty things that are done when young. Those are cool. I hope. I hope to God <laughs> that it's been destroyed. I couldn't bear it. My heart couldn't take it. Ah, <sighs> um, fuck comics. Am I right? Um, next yes. voicemail. Yes, yes, next voicemail is called Friggin' Lectures. Three, two, one, go. Hello, procrastinators. It's Friggin'. Wanted to follow up on a prior voicemail of mine and let you know that my own lecture, Stargate 101, is live now. And we have two more in editing to be released huh? this summer. Took a... Four weeks wow. from the day it was recorded to the day it was released. I know you'll do better next time. Speaking of which, Gib, please promise me Fuck you'll do you. a lecture on Buffy and Angel someday. Those shows are a ton of fun oh. and would make a great topic. That you know, hmm. maybe i I think it 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 it's always come up as like a what makes a good lecture. I feel like yeah. Buffy and Angel are such good, like, unironically good shows of television that it is a waste to explain mm. the plot in a lecture. In the same That's way that it would be, like... That's kind of how I feel about like, Tales Gets Trolled. Uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit. Tales Gets Trolled is an experience you want to have. Uh, yeah. Sonichu is not. A, not really, a, a, no. Necessarily. It's it's hard to, to, to sit through that. Um... And and even you think, then, you think that people would be better off just watching Buffy? They would. They, it's really good. Um, it's like, it's it's very nineties, and it's a lot better than maybe people assume it is for being a um, show about a girl killing vampires. I mean, I've talked. Do you watch? Pre- uh, said it's praises before. But... Do you watch uh, Jenny Nicholson? Uh, on occasion, she comes up in my recommended, and sometimes, yeah. I think her latest video, I think it's her latest one about um, the Vampire Diaries. Uh, it's very good. It's you know, it's not a lecture, but it is her just talking about a show in kind of the same way. It's sort of similar in concept, and I like it a lot. I f- I think it's very uh, very entertaining. I I like her stuff. Uh, it's funny. It's funny the jokes that she makes about it. Uh, the I don't know. Uh, if she made a if she made one just like it about Buffy, I'd be like, "Yep, I'll watch that." Because <laughs> I'm never I'm never gonna watch uh, Buffy or Angel. So I mean, if if yeah. someone made a lecture about it, I'd be like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll listen to that." Well, would would you then show. go and watch it afterwards? Mm, doubtful, doubtful. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of the fun is the twists and turns that you experience as you watch. I feel like knowing the plot beforehand is not the same. It's not the, it's not the same it's, thing. It's like, maybe, maybe the lecture might convince me that, oh, this is actually good, but then having watched the lecture, I would be like, well, I already know, so why do I need to watch it? Even if it, I am convinced that it's good. It's it's um, like watching... Well, I guess it's not... But that's as, kind it of... It wouldn't, it wouldn't be as bad as the One Piece. And it wouldn't be as okay as the one piece lecture because one piece has so much stuff that is difficult to remember that's somewhat yeah. like understandable as a lecture topic buffy is not that complicated you can you can yeah. get everything and i mean yeah. that's part of the appeal though of like the lecture is that if you're not going to watch something like i'm never going to watch buffy i can't if i hear someone explain the plot of buffy i can still kind of get and appreciate a you know an unexpected twist just in a sort of boiled down summarized version i can still get that build up where you explain this happens this happens this happens but then aha it was like this all along and then i go oh no whoa <laughs> yeah i, I guess there yeah. would be a few moments uh like that uh i i maybe i'm still not done with it um like mm. last season of buffy right now second to last season of angel 
it's it's good. That's that's all I can say at the moment. <laughs> oh. Okay. But if if you if you it when I oh, by the way I said it was very nineties, that's kind of misleading. It's very nineties in that it has like grunge for like the theme song, um, yeah. and it took place in the nineties. It was filmed in the late nineties, but uh, it is not like nineties core. It is very like timeless storytelling. Mm. Mm. It just happens to take place in a time where certain things were fashionable. Yeah, sure. Fair. It's a period piece. Or maybe not. Uh I It's uh, it's universal it's universally understood all of the things that gotcha. go on. Like the vampires are window dressing and the nineties mm. is just happenstance. Fair enough. Um next voicemail is called Based Joker Ten. Three, two, one, go. You know, when I tell people that I snuck some pistachios into their salad, they say, Oh, that really adds some flavor. What? But when I tell people that I snuck some uh-huh. hoop pistachios into their salad, well, suddenly I'm no longer a contestant on MasterChef. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. It's, yeah, it's, uh, I'm chuckling. I'm chuckling cross. Uh, I think I think poop stashios. It's not your best, but it's not your worst. Poop stashios was a bit of a like a I don't know if it was obvious or just sort of n- n- single layer to it. The Master Chef bit made it a little funnier. The Master Chef bit, the 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 high the high degree of specificity of the situation revealed I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think I think the perfect base Joker joke re- would read like a drill tweet in the way that a, a really good drill tweet is not just a very simple one note joke that you can see coming. It's the words used like only after you have finished reading it do you come to realize that it wasn't just that one thing that was strange. It was all of these other things. And then that makes it funnier afterwards. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, I, I think, I think I do know what you mean. Um, uh, it's like a sleeper agent, God. like a, a word you, you weren't really thinking about in another context afterwards. It's like, wait, that's even stupider than I thought it was. Yeah. 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 That's uh, the, the, the sudden, the sudden, imparting of new meaning through context to something that was previously thought to be understood the thing that's god explaining jokes is just makes them so much funnier uh <laughs> it's the yeah. best thing to do yeah okay next voicemail is called dead people three two one go you know i'm watching the pcp right now and i had this thought um those are real graves, you know, that you edit the faces onto. Who do you think is under there? Who is Harold Henry? Uh, Did Harold Henry know that when he died, somebody would get like a stock photograph <laughs> of his grave <laughs> and put him I on a shitty podcast hey. that's like full of washed up content creators cool. that used to be something? Spicy. Bold of you. Well, I don't know. It's something to think bold about. of you to claim that I used to be something. Yeah, the people who are the washed up somebodies aren't on the podcast. They're they're dead. They're under the ground. <laughs> Talk about someone who used to be somebody. Put them in a fucking corpse. Uh, uh, shit, man. I don't know. I just I just fucking googled and found a stock image of a graveyard with a bunch of headstones on it. Well, you and didn't think about it, Ben. Now we've desecrated no. all of these graves over and over again. I didn't. For weeks. I didn't. I, I don't know whose graves these are. And I, does it matter? I don't know. Do you do you care about this? I don't think I care about this. Um, I guess I wouldn't care until somebody who's a relative of one of the gravestones complained. And then it would be like, oh, yeah, I guess we should. <laughs> you just, just draw a um, picture. I mean... Let's see. Yeah, Har- yeah, Harold Henry. When let's see. When when did he perish? When did these people I mean, I'm assuming these are like old graves. 
I can't well, really read the name. I can't really read the numbers. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, yeah, past if, tense. Are these like a hundred years old? Then like maybe nobody who even knew these people. Hundred years still old alive. graves would look a lot worse than that. Do you think so? I mean I it's I mean it's stone. Inference. A, well, a lot of these the, a lot of these I, have like their coloring like entirely worn off and they're just like Yeah, I guess it would completely depend on white the weather. Marble. When I when I go around like English graveyards, they're a lot more fucked up because it rains more, I guess. I uh, also like people have been making graveyards there for longer. <laughs> the, the the graveyards in England just are older than the ones here. Sure, but um, like the individual tombstones, not necessarily like mm, super yeah. old. Sometimes it could just be like fifty years, and it still looks like it's been there for like seven hundred years or whatever. Sure, yeah. Well, I don't know, caller. If you're offended, I'm I'm sorry that you're offended. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, next one is called Henlo Corgo Three. Fuck you, Ben Taint. Okay, three, two, one, go. Hey Ben. So, like, how many times do people, including yourself, have to tell you to quit assuming gender? You know, like of people uh, who call in and leave voicemails, or in any other situation, really. But Brian. Th- 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 Right. I was really excited to hear your guys' reaction to my did voicemail I, last did fuck, week. Did I fuck and it up? It was a pretty good reaction. Yeah, I'll give you that. It, I, I I got mostly like the uh, desired effect, but then you just you also had to be cringe. You just you woke up that morning, took a big, big, deep <laughs> I'm sorry breath of uh, fresh air, and said, "I'm just going to be a massive fucking troglodyte asshat today." I um. <laughs> Fuck you, Ben. Uh, get better at being better and quit being I, uh, cringe. Uh, yeah, bye. I guess I assume wow. your gender, and I apologize. I, I I do it. I assume male a lot. Uh, it's uh, I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did shouldn't have done. Didn't have done it. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Okay. Whoops. I mean, My... I didn't catch you, but I don't know. God, I I'm... must have done that as well. I'm sure point, I've done it a lot. I'm sure I've done it many times and I don't know. I don't I'm not proud of myself. <laughs> Sorry. Whoops. Okay, next one is called um another L for the old Benny Santos. Wait. Did you see where? this one? R- refresh oh. the second page. Refre- it's yeah, yeah. it's moved down onto the yeah. Another L for the old Benny Santos. Okay, three, two, one, go. I made it simple for you, Ben. I gave you the key to avoiding harm, and yet here we are. You took another L. You misgendered someone after I Jesus. told you to use they. A simple gender neutral pronoun. For your audience of many, many Trans I'm people. sorry. I, I didn't listen you to want you. To create a safe space for trans people. Christ. Yet, I let it slide when someone put their pronouns <sighs> I... in the title of their voicemail, and yet you still ignored it. But this has been brought I... to my direct I can't attention. Tell to what extent shame, these two are taking the piss. Do better. Uh, I can't either. I think. They were in your Discord talking about it though, so I think they're serious. But they they were sounding very jokey. They like they they, I, yeah. they weren't actually that upset, but they did want you to say they. Uh, so it's yeah, not I, untrue that what they're if saying. It's not. It's but... not untrue. I'm 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 gonna assume this is what whatever. I don't know. Just, whoops! I fucked up. No, no, no. <laughs> I I'm just gonna assume no one's actually mad at me because it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> to live like that. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, I beefed it. Next one is called the Monopoly Man. Three, two, one, go. Ho 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 ho! Here's ho, the Monopoly ho, ho. Man. I'm calling in to say that the guy who said that the fixed money supply of Bitcoin is its downfall is wrong. You see, when you have money that you can inflate 
people that are closer to the government get the money, which means it's kind of like a social point system, like in China. It's not about how much value you give back to society with your investments. So (laughs) I guess what I'm saying is that the Monopoly man is actually good. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Have a great day. <laughs> Who if would have thought? I could slurred those hoes together. Who would have th- I'm always slurring hoes, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, who would have thought the Monopoly man? The Monopoly man is very concerned. You know, he's worried about the little guy uh, uh, having their uh, their diversely invested portfolio be devalued. Uh, that would just be a real problem, you know, for the working class. <laughs> um, your your thoughts have been imputed, uh, Monopoly Man. Uh, vote in your local elections. Next one is called Ben Read One Piece, please. Three, two, one, go. Hey, Ben, you can come live with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Next one is called Molesting Beb. Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna make you read that one. <laughs> okay. Next one is called <laughs> RV Location Found. Three, two, one, go. According to my calculations, the RV is beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, up my ass. Why did you? Why did you need to do so many calculations to figure that out? Yeah, why do you need a computer to tell you that? And if you already did the calculations, what was the beepity boop in? He is a computer. He is a computer. He calculated it live. Why does he even have it? But he ass? said... Uh, well, <sighs> where else are you going to diarrhea? From? <sighs> On top of a fucking building. In front of a bunch of... Of a... Uh, of, uh, protest a bunch of bunch of gender critical protesters uh uh uh, uh protesting uh free bathrooms <laughs> where where else it would be a waste to do it anywhere else uh i'll shit an entire rv out on them onto the steps of congress <laughs> you, you, you fucking put like a sieve under your ass and it like sprays oh like a shower turns head into shit rain like a shower head it rains yeah. like increases the the surface area you put it you you, sh- you have a like a like you know how on the end of like a garden hose you put like a nozzle and the nozzle has like changeable settings that you twist it and it's like oh like like squirt or like shower or soak right you shove one of those up your ass and you twist it right for different set like oh no I want a concentrated oh, no. stream oh no J K Rowling is opening her mouth oh I want a concentrated stream point it right down the throat <laughs> oh no oh she she left she 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 retreated to her armored vehicle and left the scene okay time to turn it to shower head and get all her supporters. This is the kind of terrorism <laughs> I can support. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, oh, yes, good, good. Okay, glad, glad we found it. Next one is called Nate Location Found. Three, two, one, go. According to my calculations, Nate is... <laughs> On my dick. This long one. Up my ass. Oh wow. So, On my dick. We got another Nate Bucker. We got one. But he's also an RV being fucked by, because of RVs in his ass. And he's got the RV in his ass. He's got Nate on his dick. This guy's living the dream. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> the dream of having a fucking vehicle in your anus. <laughs> He's got it all. He's got it all. Um, I had to hide that RV somewhere, so I sh- shoved it up your ass without even thinking. It was the, it was the, it was just the most convenient place to put it. Sorry about that, <laughs> but I'm glad you got to fuck Nate. Uh, next voicemail is called "Slap on the Ball Sack" from "And Chew on Your Nuts Until They Crack." at dot com three two one go oh my God. 35 
don't know. <laughs> is this the is this the guy from the Link CDI Zelda? No more, no more voicemails. And and people say that Jesse left the podcast. <laughs> that's that's got to be that's no, that's got to be Oblivion Fall, right? It's got to be probably. Every it's time good. I hear a good voice, every time I hear a good voicemail, I just assume it's, it's Oblivion Fall. It's one person. <laughs> yeah. Next one is called Four Gib. Professional advice, Radcon Media backup suggestions. Okay, three, two, one, go. Exposing corruption at the DMV should be a national oh, pastime activity. There's only one problem with that, you see. They're not doing it intentionally. Punch card records and iron ledgers litter the whole facility. What is there to do but escalate this to a missile to the face of the authorities? Avoid becoming the DMV. Sort all backups on DVDs. <laughs> I mean... I, I mean... But where's the advice i wanted <laughs> yeah, yeah where's the professional advice around? oh store it on dvds the, we should have like we fashion? shouldn't have given oh oh yeah i don't know about that one i thought they meant like pro like here's some fashion tips and i was excited y- yeah that one yeah didn't didn't deliver on that um Redcom media backup suggestion put it on dvds uh that's fair enough fair enough uh would have Oh, we gotta st- we gotta we gotta put it on Blu-ray. We gotta burn those Blu-rays and give them to our backers. <laughs> I know I know someone. I know someone who can do that. <laughs> uh next voicemail is called Crypto Talk. Three, two, one, go. Can we please talk about how cryptocurrency is essentially a pyramid scheme? Like, think about it. Could Bitcoin doesn't produce anything. It doesn't provide a service. There really isn't any demand for it because of the other two things. So the only thing propping up its value is people buying into it. And so it's just cash and credit. Um, like that's all it is. If the influx of regular cash and credit stops, yeah. which it has to because there's only a finite amount of yeah. cash in the world. The whole thing collapses and only the people at the top actually benefit at all from the value going up and yeah. everybody else is just fighting for scraps. Like it, it's a goddamn pyramid scheme. It's, just, it's a pyramid scheme, guys. Like stop. Stop Stop shilling for cryptos. It's a, pyra- it's I'm not a pyramid scheme. I'm not shilling. Stop it. I'm not. I love you, Ben. <laughs> I love you, Gil. Okay. I love you, Tom, if you're there. You'll never die. Bye. (laughs) Bye. Um, I, oh God, I don't know. I I feel too stupid about this. I, I, I agree and also hope that it's true. I mean, I hate it. And it kind of is a pyramid scheme. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's just a bunch of people at the top that control the supply, making all the money from people by inflating the demand. That's true. But is it is it so different from just money in general? Isn't just money also that? So it seems to me um, that even even if it's true that it is all a big scam and a pyramid scheme, that doesn't that and, and I'm sure it is. That doesn't um preclude it from also being a functional currency. I I do not like Bitcoin. I am not hoping for it to supplant traditional currency i don't like it enough for that nevertheless I, 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 that that doesn't all that doesn't make me think that it can't happen though well, just the I fact that i don't want the, it to all right here, here, here's my question then um yeah. 
buying and selling crypto comes with it a a fee uh yeah. with every transaction yeah. and um i mean not is that always. is there is well basically if you turn it into real money if you, crypto if to you, crypto can be free sometimes but like if you do m- it through real like money a commercial into, if you do it through like a commercial vendor or service, then yeah. But like you can do peer to peer like Bitcoin crypto trades that don't have any overhead fees. But like if, if you know how to do that, which I don't. Uh, well, I don't. I, I'm just saying, is there like an equivalent in like regular currency? Like if well, if, yeah, this, it would be if, if this is like converting. a if it's equivalent and not a pyramid scheme. Um, then, like, you lose money every time the market shifts and then you make transactions and the the people who, you know, the companies that facilitate all those transactions are the ones raking it in. Um, Yeah. Is there an equivalent of that in real money? I think there might be. Yeah, of course. Converting between any two currencies carries, you know, conversion fees. Right, okay. Um, I guess it's yeah. just like crypto. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know either whether it's whether it's like any different from regular currency. I I see the pyramid scheme yeah. thing because like, do people get hype for using the currency of the country they live in? No, they just use it because they have to. I mean, there was a there was a um. Oh God. It was the the Iraqi dinari, I think, that like Trump was said some stuff about the Iraqi dinari, and like Q people thought that it meant that like the Iraqi dinari was going to skyrocket. So a bunch of people, there was a bubble. A bunch of people converted a lot of their money to Iraqi dinari, thinking it was going to be, you know, explode in value due to some kind of infusion from America. And yeah, like that's kind of the same. It's the same thing as as the crypto bubble. It's just as much of a bubble, kind of just as much as a pyramid scheme, in which case, you know, only, you know, certain people that control all the supply at the top benefit and everyone else gets fucked. Yeah. But I mean, the Iraqi dinari is still a real and functional currency. Uh, I don't want to sound like a Bitcoin supporter. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I, yeah. I just, yeah. Pyramid scheme is a very specific oh. thing, but there's definitely much to criticize about crypto. I mean, I kind of think the the whole eco- like money in general and just the economy is also a big pyramid scheme. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, uh, yeah, it's. I don't like so it's, money. It's, it's. Yeah, it is all a fucking scam to funnel value up to those in power and away from the fucking peons at the bottom. It's all. It's all that. That's just it's that's that's probably an argument for why it will become a, a a widely used currency because it is a fucking scam and a pyramid scheme. It was perfect. <laughs> it's ideal. I, that's why I'm afraid of it because, like, yeah, it is. If it is a if it is a perfect store of value with a finite supply, that makes its that makes its function as a pyramid sc- scheme medium possibly more effective. Ugh, God, nightmare. Uh, hey, speaking of which, the next voicemail is called Capitalism. Three, two, one, go. Can I just say, I am so proud of the human race that we have harnessed the incredible power of math to just reach into the <laughs> void, the nothingness. <laughs> yeah. And just grab scarcity. Yes. Out, like we a made fucking it. void thief. We made it. And just like we we tricked our monkey brains into looking at these these you, you math about NFTs, and like when we put number in, it output big number <laughs> is random. Mm. But if I look for a very specific type of number, that type of number only appears sometime. So we can we can make money out of this. <laughs> I just, I just think that's beautiful. Like, as as a human, I truly believe we are all fucking dudes. If, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, shit if there sucks. Were, if everything were abundant, if everything were abundant and everlasting, and there was no scarcity, 
then nothing would be beautiful because, uh, I don't know, contrast. Because uh, uh, the sublime Yeah, you got to have poor people. you got to make sure people are poor, otherwise you won't feel good about what you have. you got to make sure they if a thing, stay down. Beauty, beauty is the feeling that you get when you look at something and you think, I wish this could last forever. And if things did last forever, you would never have to think that. So nothing would be beautiful. So uh, what are you? What do you want to make everything ugly? Uh, you stupid! You you stupid fuck! Um, you want to be like? Did you see? Oh, did you see that fucking tweet that someone made today complaining about how they made a girl in a video game not hot enough? Did you see that? Uh, it was, oh, the Horizon Zero Dawn lady, and they, they made the the, the redhead the, girl. Yeah, and they made a, yeah. a a version of it that was like their ideal, and it just is looked a fi- like a it just a looked really like s- strange, like big smile, pearly whites. It just looked uh, like what's her name, Prin- Princess Padme, uh, uh, whatever her fucking name is. Uh, yeah, it just looked like a model. It's just like a this, model. Is, this is this is hotter. This is hotter game. This is prettier. What you you fucked up? You could have made this character hotter. And you didn't it really. It Why? really confuses Explain me. Explain yourself. Explain that, yourself. Like, well, I guess it doesn't. Shouldn't confuse me so much. But the the fact that like the people you see on the magazines and the billboards, the models, the quote unquote like most beautiful types, are actually yeah. so ingrained in certain people's minds that they want that in real life, even though real people never look like that. Like, I even leaving aside. The like, is this a, a a body type that we should be pedestalizing? E- even leaving that aside and just assuming, yeah, that's fine. Like, d- do you not understand why maybe some characters wouldn't look like that? Like, what's wrong with you? Are, are you fucking crazy that you just think like, oh, the, they didn't look like a fucking toothpaste model. They did it wrong. No, they just made their character like kind of chubby and like gave them some kind of like splotchy. No, Ben, red you don't understand. Face. Like, they what's play wrong games with you? To get erections. That is what's all wrong with the, you. The, the, that the you're only... like this character doesn't look the way I would have drawn them. They fucked up. They made a mistake. No, they they look like that because they wanted them to look like that. Are you crazy? What's going on in your head, Wait, did bro? Did they say? Did they say they made a mistake? Or I thought it was just like I don't like this. This should be this other <sighs> way. Well. I mean, I, I, maybe I'm reading into it, but like, I don't like clearly. Hold on, let me let me find. <laughs> this is such find a the image tangent. so we can so we can put in the show notes because I can't remember. This what is it looked this like. is such a stu- a stupid tangent. Um, uh, where did I fucking where did I find it? Oh god, uh, Alpha Apex J. Right, yeah, from. Is it me or Sony B making their lead female protagonist look masculine as hell? Barely no curves or rough non-feminine features, unlike the average woman. Like, <clears throat> Last of Us 2's Ellie, etc. Just saying, hashtag my two cents. Pick from the game on the left, fan made on the right. Higher fans. I don't know. To me, I, to me, I read this and I'm thinking, like, the hotter a girl character is, the objectively better the, the game is. And there's, and there's just no reason for them not to be. Also, I don't know, the, the, like, the character on the left is clearly a girl. It's not, <laughs> I hate this. This makes me so mad. It's so irritating. Barely no curves. You can't even fucking, you can't even see your fucking body. You're out of your like, fucking mind. <laughs> I feel like they may have. This person has, this person thinking... literally has fucking brain problems. I'm sorry. This person's well, out of their fucking true. mind. <laughs> it was it, i think it's confusing because like the image they're posting does not seem to be what they're talking about necessarily they just put that in as like oh the fans are better than the game developers as a the fans, cause, like well because like they say the oh fa- the average woman um but that image is not an average do you woman. think that, that the, is a do you think model. that the fucking natalie portman on the right is the average woman no like i don't think they think that i think they just put that there as like an extra dunk but, yeah, the, like their initial point has nothing. It's like, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, the the initial point juxtaposed with the pick from the game on the left, fan made on the the pick from the the game on the left, fan made on the right says to me, more conventionally pretty, always better, 
always more appropriate, right? Um, hire fans because they'll just make them hotter. <laughs> Look at his first reply. That his like he says a lot of butt hurt people on here. For a opinion, wanting to see more feminine women in video games where a female lead is presented. I thought freedom of speech existed in United States. Wow, the world is oh far my, gone. Oh my god, okay. This, this guy's insane. Honestly, that has kind of pushed it over the edge for me to, like, maybe I'm actually not that mad. This is actually pretty comical. <laughs> yeah, that, and, and <laughs> okay. then a reply to I that. I feel better. I feel better uh, now. It, yeah, a reply to that. All I hear is bunch of beta males on here. Okay. Very unfortunate. More butt hurt, I suppose. I love feminine women. I just want to see more of it. Shrug. Hey, hey, man. You know me too. You know Sam. Honestly, you know that's I can't fault you. Can't fault you on that one. Uh, <laughs> that I thought freedom of speech exists in the United States. The world is far gone. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Okay. You know what? Why are you even talking about this fucking Joker? I, I got upset thinking that this was like, oh, this is so representative. This is what's wrong with gamer culture. And like, it kind of is, but also this one is just like a particularly fucking dumb idiot. So I'm, I can, I, I can breathe again. I can breathe again. <laughs> just like just like the black community can breathe again now that George <laughs> Floyd's daughter got a photo op with President Biden. <laughs> Since oh, he nobly sacrificed Yeah, it was oh, God, he nobly sacrificed nobly himself sacrifice. on the altar of racial oh, justice to move no. us forward on the path of history. <laughs> the arc of history curves toward justice. This and is, he, oh, he did it. So much. <laughs> Right, just move on. He's, I don't he, want to think about he that. He got his daughter. He got his daughter that photo op. This is just what he would have wanted. This is just what he would have wanted to get fucking murdered so his daughter could go to the White House. <laughs> We've done him proud. <laughs> no. Society's fixed. Thanks, thanks, Democrats. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Next voicemail is called Chip T Coming Good. Okay, three two, one, go. Greetings, gentlemen, and well met. My name is Ch T. Coming Good. You might recall my voice from a previous voicemail concerning the Necronomicon. Mm, barely. Though I am no longer a narrator. I am an archaeologist. What it is that I, Chip T. Coming Good, do is dig for and study ancient yep. bones. bones. Contrary to that, the however, old bone. I myself have a bone, and I would very, very much like for it to be studied. Uh... By it. it shall be my bone doing the digging <laughs> this time. And Sex truly, I, I read you shall be loud coming. and clear, mm. Mr. Cumminger. <laughs> of course, myself. And my compatriots. <laughs> Message the crew received. Of nature. <laughs> yeah. Fuckers. Oh, and yes, Mr. Saint, be a good chap and return to me the bone <sighs> scroll. Charming chap. Uh, good no. day, gents. Yes to fucking Nate. No to the bone scroll. More scrolls. More scrolls. I'm like, I'm like the sheriff. Yeah, in... like a librarian, more like. I'm like the sheriff in uh, 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 Robin Hood, only instead of taxes, I like scrolls. And you're not the authority, you're just some guy. And I'm not a cop, I'm just, I'm just a guy, yeah. <laughs> right? Didn't, didn't the, the sheriff just go around being like, more taxes, more ta- I have like a, 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 I don't know if I've ever even watched that movie, I just have this idea that the, the cop went around screaming, more taxes, I need more taxes. I... Now that, are you talking about the Disney? Yeah, 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 the Disney that was, one. That was probably the King John saying, more taxes, I want more money. Oh, maybe. And then the sheriff was oh, going maybe. like, all right, the king says, you gotta give us some money now. Yeah, what you doing there? <sighs> I, I forget what his voice was, but he was the big fat guy, the big fat wolf man. Yeah, mm. but he he's in like knife. a blue, like he's in like a blue, like Bobby uniform, right? He's like in a blue, like cop uniform button down. No, I think it was red. 
Am I thinking? Who am I thinking of? I'm picturing King, like King a John guy in a blue. blue. King had, John like, is the lion, though, right? Yeah, yeah. He had a yeah. Blue, uh, Who's King the fuck? Cloak. Is it from like Great Mouse Capade that I'm thinking of, like a fox or something in like a blue police uniform? Well, Maid Marian had a blue robe. Uh, I, I I know what fucking Maid Marian looks like. You know, it could be <sighs> the Great Mouse Detective. I haven't seen that one in, mm. in a while. I'm blue bobby uniform with like a round hat on and button down and I think it's a fo- I don't know. I don't know, I thought it was Robin Hood, but what do I know? Um next one is called Frank the Wretch. Three, two, one, go. They they call me Frank the Wretch. And I got hang on a minute. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, I I'll just cut right to the chase. I'm part of a Is the point of this gonna be that you wanna fuck name? Group and what Okay. I'm part of a group. And what we do is we this fuck name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sucks. I'm I'm t- uh-huh. I don't care. I don't care. I'm turning it off. Yeah, Frank there yeah, I'm sorry about your illness. Okay, next <laughs> <laughs> lol whoops uh next one is called road work ahead i sure hope it does three two one ago road to ratcon is it dead i can't find any of it maybe i'm stupid should we just not expect that to be finished oh yeah yeah we, we can't we can't we expect have... trixie to do the last chapter so we, we're probably just gonna dr- write it ourselves that's 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 what we decided yeah like she's not she's not gonna fucking do it um we have we have the text files of the original so yeah at some point we're just gonna we said we'd do it before and then we didn't do it but we'll we'll get around to it uh i'm gonna read through it and then you can read through it and we can we'll come up with a fifth chapter write it yeah, we're still gonna do it. It's not gonna be by Trixie, um, but it's we're gonna do it. We along with the Dojin, which is another fucking can of worms. Uh, but we'll get around to it. That's the answer. Next one is called Phantom the Phantasm. Three, two, one, go. Hello, PCP. I am Phantom the Phantasm. A visitor from the spirit realm of which you cannot fathom. I come (laughs) here seeking mortals of high social stratum. One whom I can cover in my ghostly (sighs) ectoplasm. So step aside. I'm I'm tired of these. They're not they're not funny. Yeah. Thank you. The joke is old. Yeah. It's it's, done. Come up with a new gimmick. I have I have a a bit of a fondness for it, but in my I know you're right. You're at, you're absolutely right. Sorry, everyone. Uh, fuck you. Next one is called Rescue Scat in Pace to Recusiat in Pace in Pach Recusiat in Pache. I think is how you say that to the PCP Wiki. Oh no! Three, two, one, go. Procrastopedia was an encyclopedia for all things procrastination. The wiki has been locked and all for days is protected due to inactivity, privacy, vandalism, and some regrettable choices regarding how the information is presented. Not to mention much of the information itself. Many members, former or otherwise, of the procrastinators regret much of what they've made and would like to move on. Given how the era is over, how much of the information is outdated, and that we respect the privacy and wishes of those who the wiki is formed around, it flows indefinitely. Insert bass boosted Sarah McLaughlin song here. Well, that's stupid. That was very oh, quiet. Now, what did they say? It was very, it was very quiet. Well, I, this person is saying, "This is so dumb." What's what's wrong with you? Um, like he he said, sorry, I, sh- I'm I'm not assuming. They said, and I'm yes, I'm gonna be better. I want to. I'm trying to be better. I'm live. Live the be the change I want to see in the world. They said um, that now that the PCP people have quit the PCP and some people don't 
some people aren't happy with the previous things they made. Uh, they're they're closing down the PCP wiki, and I think that's just so fucking brain dead. Like, oh, okay, now that the information is not current, it shouldn't be archived anymore. What do you think an archive is, you fucking moron? What do you think a record exists for? It's to record information about the past. Like, I don't know, if it's your wiki and you're in control of it, do what you want. But that's so stupid. Like, wait, is this the owner of the well, wiki? I don't, I don't know who this is. This person is speaking as though they have some kind of authority over the the wiki, um, which maybe they do. I don't know. Uh, I thought the, I like wikis. I like that records exist. What is the point of documenting something if, as soon as it becomes outdated, you delete it because oh, uh, people have changed. This, I hope, I'm getting angry. I hope this isn't a widespread a- attitude about stuff because it's really stupid and dumb and bad. Um, and I mean, I don't know if you think that like when the situation changes, it's time to delete all record of how things were before. Then like, what is the fucking point of you? What is the fucking point of anything you've done? <laughs> Good fucking luck. I hope I hope this person doesn't actually have any say in what happens to the wiki. If they do, then I don't know. Rip sucks oh, i guess yeah i went to i went to it closed procrastopedia was an encyclopedia for all things procrastinators the wiki has been locked and all pages protected due to inactivity privacy vandalism and some regrettable choices regarding how the information is presented not to mention much of the information itself oh i think he's just re- read <laughs> this thing in this voicemail many members mm. regret watching much of it would like to move on Huh? This who did, okay? Who did they talk to? Did did they did they ask anyone? They didn't ask me about and and they didn't ask me. Maybe they talked. I don't know. Maybe they asked someone and someone said, "I regret some of this stuff." I don't know if there's regrettable choices about how the information is presented. You could change it if you wanted to. I don't know. I mean, you don't have to do that. I'm not saying, oh, did you put the work in and change it? I don't know. It's a it's a fucking document. It's a record. Is some of it bad? Well, I don't know. You can change it or you can leave it as a like, yeah, this is what it was like at the time. This is what people thought at the time. Regrettable? Maybe. Make up your own mind. This is like. It's a little disgusting, honestly. It's a little bit of a disgusting attitude to take. When things yeah, change, you delete all I, you delete all record of how they used to be. Fuck off. I I really I I mean my thing. I don't want to be I, too I, mean I, because these people did this out of the out of the out of their own like generosity. It was their decision. They ran sure. this wiki, and it was cool that they ran it. And I don't want to like spit on that, but I do want to spit on this 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 decision. I mean, fuck. Hand it off to someone else if you don't want to run it anymore. It's fucking lot. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I, I'm glad I that just, it's just locked instead of deleted. I don't know. Why I, would you do this? I I feel like the the most annoying part of this is that they didn't ask us, which leads me to believe that they either asked some of the members or not all of them, or just assumed. Because, like, I don't know, maybe I'd like access to it. I guess I didn't use it, but... Yeah, it is kind of the principle of the matter. It's... I, I I hadn't I hadn't checked it in a while. I assume, yeah, I, I assume it hadn't been that active recently. Maybe not at all. Um, and now we we can't even look back. So why? I guess why? All the videos are still there, but like, what is the point? This is so dumb. Yeah. Okay, that that's my takeaway. You're an, whoever made this decision. You're an idiot. <laughs> Thanks for maintaining the wiki. I thought it was cool. Oh, you threw it in the trash. Well, you're a fucking idiot. You know, good job. Um. <laughs> Am I being too salty? Uh, Am I being I unfair? Know. I don't know. It's at very this point, annoying. At this point, I'm just tired and I want to stop recording the podcast. There's too yeah. many voicemails. Fair. Okay, we got a few more. Next one is called Homeless Ben Part 4. Three, two, one, go. Yes, I predicted this over a year ago and it's finally true. Drunk Homeless Ben. Ben, you have to fulfill the prophecy. You have to travel all the way down to Virginia and take a fat I'm not shit that in the sink. Lately. <laughs> uh 
Okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> cool. Next one is called Ben on Twitter. Three, two, one, go. Ben, quote, if you make them cry, you win the argument. Saint. Uh, I mean, that sounds like Ben Saint to me. That is what I said. And I absolutely still believe it. Absolutely 100%. <laughs> that's time out you got time Ramona. out you're gonna go sit in the the bully chair I'll into the harassment chair the harassment chair i will um well um what if i just said no i'm not gonna sit in it hmm, hmm. well then what if i i'm gonna just keep doing you. what i'm i'm just gonna push no, you until you're stop. you're you're falling over and then you're gonna hit your knee that's you scrape your knee and it's going to be blood that's and you're going to cry. Assault. That's battery. No, this you're is a going battery. To jail. Uh, I hold you're up going a to battery. Jail. This is a visual joke. You're going to jail. <laughs> that's it. You're going to jail. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Okay, the next one is called No Voicemail, Just This. Uh, and it's a YouTube link, but I copied the link and it doesn't work. Oh, yeah. So... Sh- yeah, that's not... I think it's too wrong. long. I, so, I, I think the, the URL's too long. Sorry. No Should have had a mail, fucking bit.ly link or something. Just nothing. Yeah. Next one is Roxanne Kaiser. I know who they are. Okay, three, two, one, go. Mm. So, I'm flying out to Columbus, Ohio. December for TrotCon 2021. Tom might be there too, so the only question is you coming or what? (laughs) TrotCon, huh? I mean, I don't know. I guess there's not much of a draw. Like, pony conventions for me are only to meet friends. They are not to be at the pony convention. So if there's I mean, a convention that people are going to, I'd want to go, but I don't know. We we went we went to the last BronyCon because it was the last one. So I I don't know. We're, like yeah, this... we're, we're we're very thoroughly not in the pony sphere anymore. I mean, so I I do strange. want strange. I do want to watch the movie. I do want to watch the new movie when it comes out, just for fun. Um, will it? It I, won't be out by then, will it? By December. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe. But, I don't know. I, I'm not... <laughs> I, like, I I hadn't been going to BronyCon for a while before that. I only went to the last one because it was the last one. I, I don't feel any particular need to go to TrotCon. <laughs> uh, eh. I'm going to say probably no. But maybe if... Sir, I don't know. I wouldn't say never, but probably not. Um, okay, we got the last voicemail, and it's called Genuinely Curious. Three, two, one, go. Hey, PCP, it's Riley. Not that <laughs> Riley. I was just curious about why you're all so staunchly against the idea of Monkey just coming on the show for an episode. It seems like we're so far separated now from the drama that happened many years ago. If Monkey in earnest wants to come on the show for an episode, completely separated from the Trixie drama, why turn him down? It's obvious that Monkey and the PCP have a somewhat decent, sizable crossover audience, and I've seen people in the Patreon Discord pushing for Monkey to come on. With the variety of guests that have come on the PCP in the past year or so, it feels like a no-brainer. Do you guys I, still resent him I for feel the kitten like- drama, or is there something else that makes you reluctant to have him on the podcast? Not trying to ruffle any feathers. I'm just I curious. I feel like I've answered this. Love you guys. Love the show. Keep doing what you're doing. Ben, return the RVs. Um, I I agree that like all the kicking drama is water under the bridge, and I don't care about that at all. Um, I I I agree that like whatever. I'm I'm not like mad at him or anything. It's nothing like that. I would have him on, but at the same time, I I would want to talk to him about Trixie because that seems like the obvious thing to talk about. That's the point. I don't I don't really want to talk to him about I don't know whatever else. 
that much. I, I don't know. <laughs> That's just, that's the that's just the one thing that I that I do like kind of want to get his take on and he apparently doesn't want to talk about that. So I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> that's think, that's it. From my end, I, it's it's a lot of it is really just that I have no real interest in him and what he does. And I'm, I don't I'm interested like him in that much. I'm interested in hearing I'm interested in talking about Yig with him. That's the one thing that I'm like I'm like interested it, to hear your take about it. Like, I'm sure he could be fun on a podcast, but like, because he know, has I'd... there's there's history there between him and Riley. Like, Riley tried to like scam him, or like he tried to run a scam based on like pretending to be him or something like that, right? So like, there's more context there that I like don't know that much about, but it's interesting. That's that's why. Eh, it's just sort of a weird fit, like. Mumkey was, he he made that one video, uh, be, be got at H K, uh, Mumkey's anime reviews, and, you know, we were all like, oh, it's just like like uh, my Japanese anime sort of video, um, it was really funny, and then, people who were not me got into Mumkey's videos, I was just sort of around. So I don't really care one way or the other, but I also don't really like him for, for like I don't know, yeah. The the uh, I don't really want to get into it exactly, sure. but like it's fine. The 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 monkey kicking drama specifically is not the problem. It's sort of the way he is and the way he conducts himself. I don't like. Sure. I, no, no super yeah, hard feelings. Like, I, if I met him in, re- in I, person, I, I wouldn't and, like, like hate him or anything. I just feel no, me, no drive to get him on my show or our show. I my, guess. my, my willingness to talk to him about Trixie stuff is not because, like, oh, I really like him. I want him on the show. It's just because I feel like he has a specific insight into it, and that's interesting. And I'm, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not like, like I would have him back on the show for that specific reason, or I would. I, I'm not just like generally like, oh, I want to get Monkey back on the show. Like, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care to just do that, just because. <laughs> I don't. I just don't care. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I does that explain everything? I feel uh, like that. Should hopefully, it everything. does. I mean, yeah. It it feels weird to just come out and say, yeah, I don't really like Monkey. Um, and I have, have avoided saying that, I, but like, I yeah. don't know if, if no, it comes I'm, down I to it, understand. that's basically just the reason I just don't, I don't, I don't like him. I, I, that's, I don't, yeah, he's, he's, his, I don't want to overstate it or anything. I, I do think his attitude is a little like, it comes across as a little <laughs> bad. I don't know. Sometimes like he seemed kind of aggressive or like mad when I asked him if he wanted to talk about Trixie and I didn't understand why. <laughs> Maybe I was just misread. I don't know. It just came across that way. Like he was annoyed. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I that's my, that's my reason. Yeah. I, I, I just, only yeah. would want to I, talk to him about that one thing. Cause he's got a particular insight, but he doesn't want to talk about it. So I don't know. I hope your genuine or curiosity is he, sated. Yeah, okay. Lol. Um, shit, I guess that's the last one. I guess we're finally done. It's been like yeah. four hours. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, I mean, we had a decently large discussion, and then times two for voicemails, as it always is. True. Sorry, everyone. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, let's wrap this up. Um, Patreon.com slash The Procrastinators. Whole bunch of bonus episodes. Access to the PCP Minecraft server, which we should do another Shekels for Heckles soon. Yes. I said I said I was down to do one this past week, and then I forgot. Sorry. Um, yeah, let's do one I mean, this week. I, I forgot yeah. to remind you as well, so whatever. Yeah, let's do one, let's do one this week. Um, let's have done one this week already by the time this episode comes out, Lamau. Uh, but that's another perk of becoming a patron. Yes, in addition to the bonus episodes, you now also get the Minecraft uh, that was previously on a different Patreon. It's now in this one, so there's even yes. more value for your five We've bucks combined. a month. 
we've merged them merging the value the double the value um and i don't know send us a voicemail but only if you're not a fucking nate fucker with a voice modulator and a 90 minute long fucking character backstory <laughs> uh Okay. Yeah, people people got to stop being copycats. You know, so once one person came up with a funny idea to fuck Nate, and then another person came up with a funny idea to to attack Ben for stealing the scrolls. Got to come up with something different. Got to you, got, you can't Which, just be the scroll guy too. You can't be another Nate fucker. You got to you got to do more. I I I appreciate references to past voicemails, but there's got to be more. The only the, more. the only like new character is base Joker, I think. And and maybe the monopoly I don't know, maybe, guy. That is yeah, true. Maybe I'm just cranky. Yeah, maybe I'm just cranky. But I'm in I'm in no mood. I'm in no mood for this horseplay <laughs> today. Uh, we've been going too long. Sorry, God, I'm I'm sorry, audience. I apologize for all this content. Um, it won't happen again. All right, let's fucking be done. That's the end. All um, right, goodbye. This is the end. Well, so long. This is a really curt ending. I I hope you have a lovely day. Die.